How nice is it to play with a solid second unit backing you up? B.A., it's a relief for everyone involved being able to consistently rotate fresh guys in and keep stars rested. It's a huge boost for a team. And the Lakers starting five. It's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. Man, did you see John Morant fly through the air on that play? Now, here is James. Takes it inside. And it's James with the jam. That's his game. Attacking the rack with a purpose. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for Memphis. Pass to Williams. Back to Moran. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. First quarter of play, a minute in. Here's Moran. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Pound for pound, Ja is one of the best interior scorers in the game. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. And the Grizzlies with possession here. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. As steady as they come from three, Desmond Bain is so crucial to this team's offense. Now here's Russell. Fires for three. And the three-pointer goes. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Davis against Williams. Outside Morant. Kicks it out to Jackson. There's the triple. The shot no good. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Pass to Achimura. And here's James. Defended by Jackson. Just five to shoot. Beyond the arc. They get it again. Here's Hachimura. Count it. One for one to start the game. Muscle points count just like any others. That's a great play. Moran against Russell. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Good feed from Ja. This demonstrates what an excellent leader he can be. against Russell. James, a screen on Moran. Russell from outside. Back to Reeves. Fires the three. Knocks it down from distance. Reeves has got five. Such an intelligent playmaker. LeBron spots the openings and exploits them. Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right. He's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. Now, here is James. Screen by James. And it's slammed in by Achimura. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Man, oh man, one of the more advanced ball handlers we've ever seen at his age. John Morant able to create scoring opportunities for himself. Now, here is James. Off the mark there with a three. Outside, Williams. Here he goes. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. James, a screen on Bain. It's Reeves with the drive. And James launches it from deep. Back to Reeves. Three-pointer. Here's Davis. And another shot. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. This is what you love about AD. He combines the skill with the great physical attributes. Excellent pump fake. 
At the line for two. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Memphis. It's a three-point game. And the basket by Bain. Beautiful touch from Desmond Bain. So good from the mid-range. The Lakers have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. James with the ball. There's the three. That shot is off. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Lakers ahead, up by one. And... Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yes, you know this, GA. Back in our day, in any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. And so in the game for Los Angeles, D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it. LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. Russell deciding where to go with it. And the Lakers hit again from deep. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. A few teams in the NBA take on the identity of their city. None more than the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, so true. I mean, grit and grind is a way of life in Memphis. And the team embraces that mantra, playing with a swag. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. No one covering. James has got five points now this quarter. A threat from every spot on the floor. LeBron still probably the toughest cover in the league. Rose. Yep, that one goes. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Los Angeles has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Here's James. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Smart for three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got four rebounds in the game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for LeBron. Prince is checked in for Achimura, and it's Dinwiddie in for Reeves. Fires at the elbow. Aldama grabs the board. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Smart right side. Let's it fly from 18. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. Great court awareness by Derrick Rose, reading every inch of the floor so well. Russell, the pass to Hayes. Outside Vanderbilt. And some analysts have lamented the quote-unquote protected guys. Every bump, they go to the free throw line. Does that bother you, Smitty? Yeah, it would have bothered me more if I had to guard them. The league has made it clear they want the rules evenly applied. Star treatment should not extend to the officiating. Good on both. Here's Rose. To the paint. Here's Clark. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Nice find by Luke. Shows good vision in both half court and in transition. Russell with the ball. And Clark picks him up defensively. Here's Hayes. And he banks in the layup. Hayes has got four points this quarter. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Rose against Russell. 
Rose with the bucket. Love the aggressiveness, the tenacity of Derrick Rose. Love driving the basketball into the teeth of the defense. Well, Smitty is a ball handler. D'Angelo Russell is a pretty complete player offensively. Yes, he is, B.A. He's very smart with the ball, and he knows how to create shots for others and himself. Vincent's checked in for Los Angeles. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. For three, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. Pass to Kennard. And here's Clark for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Clark's got five. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Now here's Vanderbilt. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie from outside the arc. And another three for the Lakers. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Here's Rose. Uneasy two on the layup. He has six. Very shifty with his handles. Very clever. Containing Derrick Rose is never easy. Here's Vincent. Guarded by Rose. Vincent passes to Prince. Clock at six. The three is up. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. Knocks down the triple. Vanderbilt's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Now here's Rose. He's covered closely. Now Kennard. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. you got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. He's been on a tear so far, throwing down some vicious dunks. I was a little worried for the rim in the first half. And I can't wait to see what he has in store during this second half. Some of those jams were downright absurd. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Then it's Jaron Jackson, and it's Williams in at the center position. That's the five to begin the second half for Taylor Jenkins. Here's Vincent, hounded by Moran. Count it for Vincent. Vincent's got five now. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Well, Smitty, despite starting in the play-in, the Lakers made it to the conference finals last year. And it wasn't easy, B.A., knocking out Ja and the second-seeded Grizzlies, then defeating Steph and the defending champion Warriors. A really impressive run. Here's Vincent. He's got five. Down low. And Vanderbilt slams it in. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. And here's Morant outside. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Quick shot by John Morant. As soon as he's got the rock, he's into his motion. Here's Vincent. Jacks up a three. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. Some changes now for the Lakers. Reddish is checked in for Dinwiddie. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by three. Jackson outside. Williams passes to Bain. To the wing on the left. From deep, Moran. That's no good. Shooting six for eight now. The Lakers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. 
Outside Russell. Pass to Reddish. And the ball out of play. The Grizzlies will have it. The Grizzlies have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. James comes in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura's checked in for Prince. And Reeves is subbed in for Reddish. Bain against Russell. Outside, Williams. Shot clock at six. And Williams punches it home. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. The Lakers in the lead. Outside, Russell. Pass to Davis. And stolen by Williams. Left side, Bain. Outside for Moran. Back to Bain. Good. And the setup by Moran. Moran's got his fourth assist in this one. A skilled shooter like Desmond Bain also loves playing inside. Here's James. The speed, the power. LeBron James. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Pass to Reeves. Back to James. LeBron on the go. And slam dunk by James. Somebody's got to rotate over, but who wants to step in front of LeBron? Morant, the pass to Bain. Jackson, the screen. 59 seconds left to play in the third. Six to shoot. Pass to Williams. And here's Jackson. Here's Bain. And the Grizzlies get another bucket right there. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. And so they foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. A line change here for Memphis. Dinwiddie, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Davis, a screen. James passes to Davis. Count it. And the Lakers lead by three. This is where the length of 80 really shows up. You think you have him well defended, and maybe you do, but it's just not enough. Kicks it out to Smart. Here's Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hachimura sets a screen. The shake. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. James, a screen on Rose. Here's Dinwiddie. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. Lakers ahead. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Then it's Rui Achimura. Then it's Austin Reeves. And it's Denwitty in at the point guard position. Here's Rose. That one's good for two. Derrick Rose inside is a treat to watch because watch how high he gets off the floor. Los Angeles has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. James. And slam dunk by James just so reliable around the rim guys and that bucket gives them a solid cushion here late and they go to the intentional foul and the Lakers making a change here Russell is checked in 
Here's Moran. Moran elevates at the rim. One of those guys that can take over a game. John Morant proving to be the difference. Out to the right wing. Davis with a screen on Williams. Hachimura, the pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. Back to the basics. Unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. Reddish is checked in for LeBron. Moran against Russell. Pass to Jackson. Outside Bain to tie it up. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Counted from distance. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. The Lakers have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Pass to Reeves. Outside Reddish. Clock at four. Davis with a screen on Williams. Here's Reddish. Did you see that? Oh! I saw it. Wow! And he saw it. And he goes in for the dunk. It's tough to stop Cam on the drive. He's so fluid and coordinated. James has checked in for the Lakers. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Morant with the slam! Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Oh, and Russell loves to remind us that he has ice in his veins. Big time bucket. Moran against Russell. From deep pain. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. Moran against Russell. James outside. Driving inside. Nice work inside from James. One of the league's great competitors. The second LeBron catches the ball, you can see he's looking to rise to the occasion. Moran against Russell. Moran, the pass to Bain. Just five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Jackson finds Moran. Up and over Russell. They get the rebound. Right side, Williams. From deep, Moran. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. Yeah, and their team-first approach is another thing you have to like. And they've had great ball movement and are getting a lot of points off assists. James, a screen on Moran. Russell, the pass to James. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Yeah, made for spots like this. It's the king at the line. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a three-point game. Yeah, that's who you want stepping to the line when the game is close. Russell against Moran. Ja slices through. Yes! Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. There's 39 seconds left to play in the fourth. Screen by James. Russell finds James. And he drives in. And he buries it. Your go-to guy in these situations, LeBron, has been here before plenty of times. 
And the Grizzlies call time here. They're trailing by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Goddard, he's checked in for Williams. And the Lakers also making a change. Reddish has checked in for Russell. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. Coach delivering an inspiring message to his team saying, quote, hey, we can win this game. Believe in yourselves. Battle to the end. Honestly, guys, even I was a bit pumped up after hearing this one. And Allie, thank you for that. Now here's Davis. It's a narrow victory.
edge in this department. Yeah, both teams count the boards. It's clear these coaching staffs push for their guys to attack the glass. So this one's going to be physical. So the opening lineup for the Suns. The big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards. And KD at the four. Grayson Allen is out there with Nurkic. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ball game. Durant kicks to Booker. Outside for Beal. He dishes it to KD. Six to shoot. Shot from the top of the key. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. And finished off by LeBron. So tough to keep him in front of you. He's always playing on his front foot using that first step. Outside for Durant. It's Allen on the wing. He's covered by Hachimura. Beal taking his time here. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Richard, it's absolutely amazing what Durant can do on the floor on a consistent basis. He's got the height and the size to play inside. The skill to run the offense. He's just a freak out there. You look at Durant's game and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it. He's so polished in every area. His skills are so sharp. Now, here is Russell. Back to James. And finished off by LeBron. This is classic LeBron leaping off the floor for a powerful dunk. Booker, right side. Outside, KD. Outside, Beal. Booker outside. Outside, Durant. Pass to Nurkic. Davis with the block. It's the length of Davis that makes it so hard to shoot over top of. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Hachimura kicks to Russell. No good from outside. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Kicks it out to Allen. Back to Durant. Up and in on the layup. Durant's got six. Inside, Durant's scoring instincts take over, helping him find a path to that difficult shot. Russell passes to Davis. Hachimura with it. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Now here's Booker. Back to KD. Good D by James. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Russell with it. Guarded now by Durant. LeBron is screen on Durant. To the inside. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Russell. Six points for LeBron. So unpredictable in pick and roll sets. James just taking what he sees and lets it open up. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Jackson A's, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for James. Prince is checked in for Hachimura. And Dinwiddie subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And for the Suns, Damian Lee comes in for Bradley Beal. And Eric Gordon subbed in for Devin Booker.
One shot. And the free throw, no good. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Now, here's Dinwiddie. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a, a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Well, as long as the Lakers have a healthy Anthony Davis, RJ, they will be a factor, won't they? Yes, this is why they traded so much to New Orleans to get him, Kev. AD is a top five guy in the league when he is healthy. Davis can dominate on both ends, and it is rare to see that. Now, here's Vanderbilt following the shot by Kevin Durant. Kicks it out to Prince. Vanderbilt, a screen on Durant. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. KD with the bucket. Durant's got eight. In the mid-range, Durant is deadly as ever. Easy money sniper putting up a little silky jumper. Dimbley, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's Gordon. Still yet to score. Just five on the clock. The Suns need to get a shot off. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Jackson Hayes. James comes in for Vanderbilt. Hachimur is checked in for Prince. And it's Russell in for Dinwiddie. LeBron outside. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Nurkic. He can make you miss in more ways than just one. LeBron with a nice little dribble move. Nurkic finds Durant. A three-pointer off the mark. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Lakers ahead. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Lakers are pretty much in control here. Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. They've got Vincent. Torian Prince is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Reddish, and it's Hayes in at the five. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Here's KD. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Ten points for KD. And Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the Lee experiment assessing a technical free throw. It's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down. And, and who wants to see that? Beal dishes to Booker. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Puts it up from 15. That one goes in. Reddish has got six points in the quarter. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Lakers leading by 13. Here's Vincent driving inside. And the layup's good off the glass. Vincent's got his first two points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. 
Last season GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. It's stolen by Reddish. Vincent the pass to Prince. The tray. Vincent misses. And so it's Katie with it. He brings up the ball for the Suns. Down by 15. Outside for Beal. Back to Booker. With the fadeaway. It's rebounded by Hayes. The Lakers have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. And here's Prince outside. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. It's Beal on the wing. Back to KD. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Durant's got 15. How about dueling from long range? Just going at each other. Take that, he says. I see you three, and I'll raise you another three. Oh, I dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James last season passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the NBA's all-time leading scorer. LeBron says, that record was never in my head because I've always been a pass-first guy, so it was never a goal of mine. Kevin, there's perhaps no greater tribute to James's all-around game that he could set that mark without setting his mind to it. Back to you. Well said, D.A., thank you. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Yeah, that's a tough call right there and really a tough break for the D. And we've got a lineup change for the Lakers. It's Allen on the wing. It's stolen by Hachimura. Here's Reeves. And another three for the Lakers. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long he'd languish in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And now a veteran in this league. Beal is hungry to compete for championships at this stage of his career. Back to Vanderbilt. With the crossover. Rebound by the Suns. There's 31 seconds left in the second quarter. It's Allen with the drive. Good on the shot. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Los Angeles leading by 15. Driving to the basket. And Hayes throws it down. And he had more than enough room there for one of those trademark slams that he's become noted for. And, and Greg, don't you think once he got that space, you just knew it was going to happen? So did the defense. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the building was waiting for it. That's a guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. Prince wide open, and again it's the Lakers from deep. And an eye for an eye, both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. And so it's Los Angeles. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. Phoenix calls timeout. 
Suns trail by 17. So at Durant sitting on the bench. This is who Frank Vogel is out there. You've got Drew Eubanks, Lee out there with Gordon. Then it's O'Neal, and it's Bull in at the power forward. Gordon kicks to Bull. And the foul called on Austin Reeves. That's his third foul of the game. His third personal foul. First team foul. So it's Phoenix now, and the pass to Eubanks. Back to Gordon. Out to Lee. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by James. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. And the slam dunk by Russell. Creating some easy offense off the steal. LeBron James always lurking with those quick hands. The J of the Suns have been to the playoffs three of the last four years. Kevin, they have a star-studded roster led by Beal, Booker, and KD. They are going to be a problem in the West for years to come. And that one's good by Davis. This is where you want AD to get his shots. That, that's almost automatic. Gordon with no one around. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. 18-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Yeah, inside, Bolt does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And start with their defense. They've been intense on that end, and they can actually help their offense as well. And stolen by James. And Hachimura with a clear pass to the right. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Let's it go from 11. And Davis pulls it down. For Los Angeles, they've gotten every shot that drops since halftime. They're 5 for 5 from the floor. Andrew Eubanks gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Now here is Davis. He's tightly guarded. Passes to Hachimura. Five to shoot. That's good from Davis on the assist by Hachimura. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. And it's Gordon penetrating. On the wing, Lee, still without a basket. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's James. Lee Vaz was put in just the right spot. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. O'Neal against Hachimura. Here's Bull. That one a little long. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 15-4 run. You know, Greg, at a per-minute basis, Bull Bull is one of the better rebounders and shot blockers in the NBA. Yeah, and it's not all done on the inside. He, he grabs a lot of long rebounds, and he contests shots on the perimeter. This guy is more than capable out there. I like how fast Bond makes decisions, reading the defense ahead of time, rising and shooting with confidence. And a beautiful crossover there. I love the advantage he has from a speed standpoint. Does a great job of creating separation for that shot. Russell kicks to LeBron. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got six assists now in the game. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. The team's putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. And at 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Dave, ooh, oh, what a slam! Oh my what a slam! 
Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so much fun watching AD play that way with that type of power around the rim. Here's Bull. The Lakers with the rebound. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's LeBron, and finished off by LeBron. Okay, King James, look, there is no stopping LeBron when he gets on the bounce. And it goes out of bounds. That one off ball. Set the vision on the court. James with it. Four seconds left, and James throws it down. Well, look, a coach is going to trust LeBron James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice groove like this. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. L.A. has gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ballgame. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Here's Reeves. Pass to Hachimura. Now Davis. And Davis throws it down. What do you want? Agility, he's got it. He's got it. Davis has every advantage on this play. Defenses just can't effectively counter it. And the call will go Play. against Grayson Allen. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Davis with a screen on Booker. Russell kicks to Davis. To the wing right side. Hachimura against Allen. And that one's good. Hachimura. Understanding how to burn the defense in those sets. Hachimura doesn't rush anything. Let's the play develop naturally. Nurkic the pass to Durant. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's on LeBron James. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? I'm liking the throwback approach. They're making use of the mid-range area and inflicting major damage there. And also, got to be impressed with their interior play, getting it in the paint and figuring out ways to score. Vincent finds Hayes. And here's Reddish. He's covered by Beal. Now, here's Reddish. He's guarded closely. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. The drive by Booker. Nurkic trying to get open. And finish off by Nurkic. Man, this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points. Staying active even after the shot goes up. Going inside, and Reddish with the slam. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Outside, Beal. He kicks it to KD. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Capable of scoring from any area. Love when Durant takes charge and dominates like this. Pulls up on the elbow, and it goes down two points. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Out to KD. Upside Beal. Back to KD. Five on the clock. And the jam by Kevin Durant. What an athletic play by Durant. This man, what can't he do? Los Angeles calls timeout.
Let's hear it, fans. Give your Lakers youth band team a big round of applause. Here's James, and he lays it straight in. And that's now 24 points for LeBron. Like at this point in time, like you have to understand that if LeBron James is on the inside, he has so many ways to beat you. A little contact's not going to do anything. A nice shot by Booker. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Outside, Russell. Hachimura finds Russell. Takes it inside. James a screen on Beal. Four on the shot clock. And the dunk by James. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing super long. KD's arms stretch for days, helping him slam it on the bounce. LA has gone six of 11 when they've taken the three point shot tonight. Very respectable. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Lakers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for LeBron. Oh, he was at the center of everything that happened in this game. His energy was felt throughout the building, and his impact, well, it was incredible. And he's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. They recover it. Oh, look at the old man still getting it done on defense. LeBron James still takes great pride in rejecting shots. The kick out to LeBron. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And Phoenix pushing it up now. No good from Durant. And here is LeBron. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Into the lane. Also looking it over. LeBron with a screen on Booker. Three-pointer. And D'Angelo Russell good for three. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready. Oh, my wow. goodness. What a play. Oh, my. Give some love to KD there, making the unselfish play. Now, here is Russell.
very scrappy. They're really getting after it on defense right now. And I love it. I mean, it's actually really refreshing to see. Being that the league has shifted more to being offensive-oriented, this matchup has a bit of an old-school feel to it. So you know I like that. It's going to be fun. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the five. Slammed in by Durant. Durant always ready to throw it down. You can't let him get close to the rack. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Four-point game. From deep. Sinks the tray. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Durant with it. To the inside. Out of the Kupo with the block. The reach, the athleticism, the timing, no surprise. Giannis swatted that one away. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Durant, no good. The Bucs have gone two of three from the floor. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucs, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. And when it comes to Giannis Antetokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor, Clark. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously. And he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes, too, which is pretty endearing. Now here's Allen. Five to shoot. Peel the pass to Allen. The Suns need to get off a shot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Lillard against Booker. The shot by Lillard, no good. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. And Booker the bucket on the assist by Allen. Yeah, Booker sees how they're defending him and just takes what's there. Here's on it Kumpo. Kevin Durant pulls it in. You rarely see him missing dunks, but the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Now here's Lillard. Inside. And Giannis with the jam. The decision making of Antetokounmpo is really brilliant in a word. He knows when to spot up, he knows when to roll to the bucket off screen, and he knows when to give it up. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Absolutely salivates when he attacks the rim. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Durant, that one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Durant's got eight points. Durant with tremendous touch. He's just a natural scorer. It's Beasley on the wing. And another three for Milwaukee. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. That doesn't go either for Durant. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Lopez. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Beasley for three. And the box hit again from deep. This is how confident Beasley is. What a quick trigger finger off the catch for that jumper. Count it. Good execution. They're getting some short range looks here. Milwaukee has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Three-pointer is up. Middleton nails it from three. Middleton, a knockdown.
down threat from deep, especially from the corner pocket. And it's Beal with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing by five. And Durant gets it to go. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Middleton. Well, Clark with his mix of power and length. At times, Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive game plan. But Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Connaughton comes in for Beasley. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit. Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness. And Giannis with the dunk. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride and makes it look easy. The putback. It's good on the putback. Durant's got 13. You cannot sleep on KD's length now. He's excellent at using that length on the offensive board. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And that one's good. Middleton. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High-octane action for sure. Crowd-pleasing already. On target from range. Right back at you, Durant motivated to put it right in his opponent's face. No better way to do it than with the three of his own. For three, here's Lillard. And another three for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee, hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucks. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. Grayson Allen is out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's Eric Gordon. Then it's Bull Bull. And it's Booker in at the two. That's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Now here's Durant. This one for three. From deep, Durant. You know, he's a good guy to have running that particular set. I mean, Durant is not a guy who makes a lot of mistakes in the pick and roll. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks, But the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what. Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps. And these guys are well molded together. Bold. Here's Gordon. Puts up a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Oh, the strength of Giannis. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Brooke Lopez, over the course of his career, has become an elite rim protector and also stretched his scoring beyond the arc. His teammate, Giannis Antetokounmpo, said, quote, he competes hard for his team, and he's a big part of who we are. We need him offensively and defensively to be great. Brian? Hey. Oh, look out! Giannis, unbelievable! How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Booker attacking. Pass to Allen. And stolen by Middleton. Ran against Honor Kumpo. Connaughton outside. Middleton from the outside. And the box hit again from deep. Well, there's a good reason this guy shoots as many threes as he does. Chris Middleton is a knockdown three-point shooter. The kick to Durant. Katie gets a step. Hits the jump hook. Durant's got 24. 
He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind him. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. making some changes. O'Neal, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. Roddy comes in for Allen. And it's Lee in for Booker. The Bucks making a switch here. Here's Beverly going inside. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Beverly's got his first points in this one. We've had many impactful European players throughout the years, Clark. What makes their style of play so different? You know, I think it's really how they're trained from the time they start playing the game, B.A. Every player, regardless of size, is taught to think and feel and play the game fundamentally sound. And I love that. I think that's something that should be mimicked in the States. Train kids to play the game the right way in all aspects of it, no matter how small or tall they are. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. O'Neal inside. He's against Crowder. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. And here's Crowder from the arc. Controls the rebound and the putback. What hustle on the offensive glass, finding ways to capitalize, paying off that hard work. Lopez on the double team. Gordon finds Bull. Here's Roddy. The three. Doesn't go. And he's 0 for 1 from the floor. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. The Bucks have gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. There's 47 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Beverly, the pass to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Good work defensively by Gordon. Phoenix has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. For three, O'Neal gets the three ball to go. And now it's just a four-point Bucks lead. Well, we know Eric Gordon is a great shooter now, but he is also willing to make the extra pass. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Shoots it from the high post. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's gotten his second bucket of the game. 17 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Gordon on the take. Pass to Lee. Back to Gordon. To the middle. With two seconds left. Can't capitalize inside. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. And the first half now in the books. Bucks ahead. They lead by six. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers. Thanks very much, Allie. And, folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. They've got Jay Crowder. Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's Jackson, and it's Lopez in at the center position.
Pass to Crowder. Back to Lillard. Oh, Lillard! The one flying high! Yeah, just a quick dribble right into his move. Lillard with the economy of motion. In terms of players who've kept evolving, Clark, I mean, come on. How about Brook Lopez? Well, Grant, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He folded three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring, Grant, but there's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Lillard against Booker. Now here's Lillard. Yes, sir! Hey, put Lillard in the dunk contest with that one. Oh, <laughs> wow. Dame just sticking it to the other team, and you can see it's motivating his squad as well. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Crowder goes in. Lillard with the ball. Durant covering. Crowder outside. Six to shoot. Back to Lopez. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Anacumpo is checked in for Crowder. Phoenix has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. The kick to Durant. Pass to Nurkic. Stolen by Jackson. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. And here's Lillard. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. And the basket is good. <laughs> What's incredible, he doesn't need much space to let it fly. Lillard's shooting touch does wonders for his team's spacing. Pure from three-point range. Beal's got 11. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Well, Clark, in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in an eight versus one seed upset. We all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. Booker. And Booker with the jam. Oh, power it down, Devin. And so Ana Kumpo will bring it up for Milwaukee. Lillard outside. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Lillard's got 12 points now in the quarter. Booker off the bounce. The kick to Durant. Pass to Allen. Stolen by Jackson. In transition. Here they come. Lillard with the ball. Picked up by Allen. Back to Lillard. One fourteen left in the third quarter of the game. Really left him alone that time. Lillard's got 14 points now in the second half. Yeah, Lillard is relentless on offense tonight, getting bucket after bucket for his team. And Nurkic with the basket on the assist from Booker. Booker's got six assists now in the game. Jackson surveying the D. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter here. On the take, and the dunk by Jackson. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. Ran against Anadokounmpo. Shot clock at five. 
Giannis driving in. And Giannis with the jam. It's been Giannis's night. His points have come in a variety of ways. And as usual, he has been relentless. Durant. Yes. And it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got seven assists in the game. He's scoring the rock at will, but he needs more help from his teammates. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. The Bucks on top. They lead by 13. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal the backcourt and KD up front. Grayson Allen is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Durant commands so much attention. Part of the reason why he had a wide open teammate there. Portis into the lane. Lillard outside. Pure. That's basket number nine on 12 tries. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Oh, you can't let Booker get that close. The easy money there for Booker. You can't let him get this close with the ball. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Lillard looking around. Offline with a three. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Beal, the pass to Durant. 19-footer. Rebound by Middleton. And the Bucks shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. Lana Nakumpo outside. A big time flush by Giannis. The sheer power of Ante de Kumpo goes up and throws it down hard. That is impressive. The kick to Durant. There's the drive. And Durant slams it home. Well, that's a move Durant's had up his sleeve for a while. I mean, you've got to try to take that away. He's just waiting for the right moment to break it out on you, though. Here's Ante de Kumpo. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. An absolute insane display of dribbling from Anta Tacumpo. I mean, you can't take this guy lightly when he's got the ball. Mad handles for a guy of any size, but seven feet tall? Come on, man. That's ridiculous. The Bucks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Anta Tacumpo outside. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. Booker for three. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Booker's got seven points for the quarter. Yes, yeah, so good to see Booker knocking down the corner triple. A go-to score with considerable range. Portis against Nurkic. That's green. And the officials Chicken will wing. call the illegal screen here. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Gallinari, he's checked in for Milwaukee. <laughs> Beverly comes in for Lillard. Phoenix calls timeout. They're behind by 10. A minute 53 left in the fourth quarter of this one. 
Phoenix making some changes. Bowl, he's checked in for Nurkic. O'Neal comes in for Durant. And it's Gordon in for Devin Booker. The Bucks also with a sub. Lopez is checked in. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. Well, Coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. Great work, Ali. Thanks. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Bowl with it. Middleton covering. Bowl. Pass to Allen. Beverly with a steal. Allen against Beasley. One sixteen left to play in the fourth quarter. It's Middleton on the wing. Cash money from 16 feet away. And they just didn't have enough to overcome this deficit. Chalk up this game as a fantastic victory for the Bucks. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently. And a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Giannis Antetokounmpo. I have to say, he was totally unleashed tonight, flying up and down the court, helping out however he could. He made a big impact on both ends. Gallinari's shot is off. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yeah, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Shot and game clock separated by five. Bowl, the pass to O'Neal. Back to Bowl. It's stolen by Beverly.
Both teams want this one bad, and, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Chris Stapps Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum, and it's Holiday in at the one spot. And Hillard can knock these things down in his sleep. He makes it look so easy. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ball game. And White kicks to Tatum. Brown with a screen on under the Kumbo. Drills it from outside. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now here is Holiday. Right side, Berzingis. Tatum passes to Persingas. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. C-T-H. Can't teach height. Porzingis is big and completes the play. It feels like Porzingis, Brent, has been in the NBA forever, doesn't it? But he is still only in his 20s. Yeah, it's kind of a head scratcher. He's been traded a few times, missed a year due to ACL injury. But the unicorn has persevered, and he's worked on his body, still adding some to his game. And you wonder if he's finally found a home. And here's Holiday after Malik Beasley made that last three-pointer. Good work there as it goes. Well, right now, Drew Holiday has the defense in the sandbox, just toying with them. Lillard looking around. Middleton on the wing from the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's White. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Alert against Holland. It's Beasley on the wing. Back to Lillard. On the wing, Giannis. Down to five on the shot clock. Good. The time running down on the shot clock. Not sure there are many players that can match the physicality that Giannis brings. Tatum kicks to White. Addition now to Holiday. Plenty of space. Milwaukee with the rebound. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Middleton against Brown. Now Middleton. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Brings the three while he's being fouled, and he might be able to make this a four-point play. More and more as a reliable spot-up shooter. Beasley with the feet set knocks it in. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Milwaukee? Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Lillard with the bucket. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. And here's Giannis after Damian Lillard was able to get the three to go. Tatum again, Zonda de Kumbo. He kicks it to Lillard. Shoots over Brown, and there's Lillard on the assist by Antetokounmpo. Lillard's got eight points. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And slam dunk by Tatum. 
Yeah, Porzingis showing some passing ability that time. Instincts are there. There's the pass to Portis. No one near him. And another basket for Milwaukee. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. For Milwaukee, they have shot just one free throw, missing that one earlier. Free throw good, Damian Lillard. I love Lillard because he loves the game. And this is a guy who just wants to be out there. He wants the ball in the hands. And he tries not to get caught up in all the drama that happens around the game. It's 100% focused on it. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Jackson, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lillard. The Bucks have converted one of two free throws so far today. That free throw, no good. One of the better perimeter defenders in the game and in the golden age of scoring point guards, Patrick Beverly doing his best to slow them down on a nightly basis. Porzingis with a screen on Beverly. Holiday with the three. It's good from long range. Holiday's got his second bucket of the game to go. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. And so it's Milwaukee. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And we'll be right back after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, we've seen the Bucs really take control here early. Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. On the court right now for the Celtics. They've got Horford, and it's Pritchard in at the point guard. Inside. It's hauled in by Cornette. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Hey, Brent, the foundation of the Bucks' success has been their defense. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. They continue to dominate in the paint, but they've also made tremendous strides in how they guard the three-point line, just doing a much better job of getting out there and contesting the three. Outside for Jackson. Swiped it away. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Out left to the wing. Here's Cornette, defended by Portis. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. Milwaukee leading by eight. And here's Beverly. Beasley with a clean look from outside off the mark. And he drives in. Pritchard. Excellent D there from Beasley. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Bucks. And stolen by Horford. Pritchard passes to Cornette. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Here's Pritchard. Right wing. From deep. And the basket by Hauser. Hauser's got five now. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez comes in for Bobby Portis, and Middleton subbed in for Beasley. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously, and it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. Bucks leading by five. Jackson gets to Middleton. To end the drought. Good on the jump shot. He has five. 
We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Mikhailu, defended by Middleton. There's the screen. Horford in the post, guarded by Jackson. Shot clock at five. And Cornette gets it to go. Cornette's got his first bucket in this one. Really as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. Middleton finds Beverly. Back to Middleton. And shot on the way. Rebounded by the Celtics. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. This is what he does. Find space on the perimeter and then sink the three. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Crowder. Shot on the wing. That one falls. Well, if you're open, Patrick Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. And when you look at the veteran Jay Crowder, Brent, what impresses you most about his game? Well, I think he's just accepted his role, Kevin, a high-energy guy who plays tough defense, and that's someone who's going to help you out, especially the way he can stretch the floor and occasionally knock down key threes. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And that one's good. Beverly. That's a pretty impressive finish for Montrez Harrell. Celtics trail by three. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Outside, Horford. There's a good screen. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Just a high IQ play there from Horford showing off the all-around game. An underrated passer as well. Outside for Jackson. Passes it to Lopez. Here's Mikhailu. Outside, Horford. Pass to Pritchard. Left side, Horford. Over Jackson. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we... Re All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Lillard. And you know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. Now you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Malik Beasley out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Portis in at the five down low. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Here's Antetokounmpo following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. And that one is good by Beasley. He really has a nice stroke as Beasley's jumper is able to fall. The kick out to Brown. Back to Orff. Pass to Holiday. It's White on the wing. And Horford wide open. He shoots. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Now, here's Lillard. Nine points in the game so far. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And Lillard wasting no time getting three back. Boston trailing. Holiday surveying the floor. The pass to Persingas. And stolen by Portis. Alert against Holiday. 
Lillard attacking. Lays it up off the glass. And it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. With the ball on the string, Lillard using that signature burst. Outside Holiday. Right side Horford. Pass to Persingas. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. <laughs> no chance. Giannis too much length. Middleton against Holiday. Beasley dishes to Lillard. Four on the clock. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Some solid defense from Brown. Brent, don't you love what a team player Giannis is? A star with very little ego. One of the things, Greg, he does so well is deflect everything or reflect everything back to him. It's about him. He'll compliment his teammates, and then he'll take on the responsibility when the team isn't playing at its highest level. Here's Brown after the basket by Milwaukee. Boston, no good that time either. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Kicks it down to Middleton. Wide open look. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. Middleton looking pretty comfortable right now playing in the pick and roll, whether he's passing the ball or shooting it. Right now making good decisions. And the dunk by Porzingis. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Easily outside. To the middle. Here's Middleton. Porzingis with the rebound. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Celtics. Six-point game. Brown the pass to Horford. Milwaukee with the rebound. Andre decumbo has got four rebounds now tonight. Lillard with it. 14 points for him. 104 left in the third quarter. Giannis kicks to Portis. And it's at the Kumbo picking up the assist. Ante de Kumbo's got five assists in the game. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. Different look for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. And it's Crowder in for Chris Middleton. Celtics trail by eight. Here's Pritchard. He has six. From past the arc. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. They get it back. Kicks it out to Beasley. Lillard outside. Clock at four. Fires the three. Rebound by the Celtics. 20 seconds left to play in the third. Driving in. Outside, Horford. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Now just a three-point Milwaukee lead knocked it down there as his career has gone on Al Horford has added more and more to his outside game and to the Kumbo inside bottom line you need shooters on your team who can space the floor no, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown and he's demonstrating that in this game and so it's the and it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes and what separates great playmakers as we know this peripheral vision. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. 
Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point. Here is Lillard after Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Now here's Lillard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one is on Holiday. Defensively, you have to stay as connected as you possibly can with Damian Lillard. He's just too good with the ball. That leads to a foul. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Chris Stapps, Porzingis. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Now here's Beasley. Lopez, a screen on Brown. Middleton, the pass to Lopez. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Knowing his role, setting a good pick, and getting into a good spot for that attempt. Lopez, such a smart player. White goes in, out to Porzingis. There's the drive. Holiday finds Porzingis. Count that bucket. Porzingis has got four points this quarter. Yeah, how about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. And that one's good out of the Kumbo. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. And so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. Milwaukee making a switch. Beverly's checked in. Tatum looking around. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. More and more polish from Porzingis, easily getting the defense off their feet. The rest is simple. And he makes both free throws. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. And you see the unselfishness right there. Brown wanting to keep his teammates involved. And Middleton kicks to Antetokounmpo. Driving in. Machetes his way. Giannis. And Antetokounmpo swings it in. Really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario really for him. Point blank range and also a size at that. A nice shot by Tatum. This is why Tatum is a volume three-point shooter because he knows how accurate he can be. Middleton outside. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. White dishes to Brown, uses the glass to finish the layup. And with Brown, it doesn't matter what point in the game it's at. He's ready to shoot whenever and wherever he has the ball in a good spot. Celtics have gotten absolutely red hot shooting the ball here in the fourth. A perfect six for six. And then Brown with the dunk. And the craftiness of Brown, just so creative at picking apart the defense with his ball hand. Middleton for three. Lopez. And staying with the play, Lopez. Lopez has got four this quarter. Wow, Lopez stepping up. What confidence from the big fella. We've seen some great competition in this one. Yeah, seven already in the game. And I think it shows you how well these two teams match up with one another. Now here's Young. And no good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. Let's it go from deep. They get the rebound. Brown the pass to Tatum. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Easily outside. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. It's good. That is world class. I've seen that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. The kick out to Holiday. Back 
Dwight down low. The kick out to Brown. White dishes to Brown. Shot clock at six. White the pass to Brown. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. And it's Milwaukee's ball. At one point, they led by 16. Easily outside. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Now only a few minutes left to play. Possession's becoming more and more important. Let's see if Lillard knows the importance of this trip. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're behind by three. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. Nine seconds left in the fourth. On the wing, Holiday. It's White on the wing. The three from Tatum. Oh, he had a chance there to...
season. You know, B.A., the idea that the big man is dead in basketball is out of the question. What's happening is bigs are getting more and more skilled. They're showing the value they have as versatile performers, and you absolutely love to see it. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Then it's Jackson, and it's Williams in at the three slot. Now here's Moran. Williams a screen on Holiday. Fires the three. Williams, that's good. Not just an aggressive score, Morant is also a fantastic distributor. Moran against Holiday. Pass to Tatum. White on the wing. the layup is good. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. White finds Tatum. He tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Memphis has gone two of two at the perimeter. Here's Williams. Kicks it out to Bain. Pass to Moran. Jackson on the wing. Three-pointer. Porzingis grabs the board. For Boston, they've gone one for three so far. Outside Holiday to the left side wing. From behind the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. The more Porzingis proves himself a threat as a passer, the more dangerous he can become as a scorer. Williams passes to Williams. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it. So close. Morant, the pass to Williams. Clock at six. Here's Jackson. And stolen by Holiday. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle as Derek White did there. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Here's Morant. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Morant not afraid to get in there and play big. Showing his toughness in close. Holiday against Morant. Pass to White. The kick to Tatum. Brown with a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Tatum missing. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Memphis. And Morant gets it to go. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. That one rocked this arena. That's the kind of dunk right there that makes you think he's going to rip down the rim. Shoots. And John Morant again. Morant's got six. A phase of his game that Jaws worked hard on. Morant's jumper becoming more and more reliable. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. That jumper is pure. Jackson with great touch for a big man. Set him up, let him knock him down. Good on the bucket. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Tatum with a steal. Oh, stolen by Morant. On the wing, Bain. Takes a three. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Holiday passes to Porzingis. 
from down in the low post, it goes. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three point chance here if he can convert. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The free throw drops for Williams. The Celtics have gone five of nine from the floor. Brown, a screen on Williams. Outside, Brown. From deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Memphis. Morant with it. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. Got it off in time. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. The previous play is under review. The play. The question, did he get the basket off in time or not? And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game. So you want to make sure the right call was made. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. Ja Morant, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Memphis. Moving the rock and looking for a shot. It's clear he's in a good rhythm. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. We've got Al Horford. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Sviatoslav Mikhailu. Then there's Luke Cornett. And it's Hauser in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. That's good, and it's smart with the assist. Kennard's yeah. got five points. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just the right amount of space. And Horford powers it home. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right, you can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think obviously we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Here's Rose. Basket's good. Five points in the game. Doris, we live in the era of advanced analytics. Numbers about everything. You think there's a stat that deserves more love? You are so right about the analytics. They can tell us what the high-value shots are, what kinds of players you'd like to have on the offensive end. Here's the one thing teams struggle with. How to define quality defense. And the challenge is the floor is so spaced and the shooting is so good that perhaps we need to come up with different metrics to define good defense. That's one key area. It's stolen by Smart. Pass to Kennard. Smart, look it around. This is something Marcus Smart does really well. He utilizes his speed and strength to draw defenders while he's shooting. And that one misses. Shooting for Memphis, Marcus Smart. He hits the second from the line. The Celtics have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Aldama. It's stolen by Smart. Aldama outside, to the right side. Rose, the pass to Clark. And the shot goes. And the Grizzlies lead by 21. As of this moment, they look absolutely unstoppable. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. On the court is your A big group substitution here for Boston. 
Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Cornette. Brown comes in for Hauser. White, he's checked in for Mikhailu. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Pritchard. And here's Brown for three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of Two shots. Minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Rose up top. He's got seven. Here's Kennard. Clark, the pass to Kennard. Goes back up. Again, the Grizzlies. Good for two more. Yeah, Luke Kennard's mid-range game on point right there. Holiday against Rose. Outside Holiday. Up top, Horford. Boston again missing. And here's Memphis. They're on a 17-4 run. Good D by Porzingis. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And the jam by Brown. Well, at six foot seven, this is a forward Jalen Brown who handles it well, cuts his way right through the defense. 54 seconds left to play in the half. Holiday against Rose. Inside, Aldama. Good D by Porzingis. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. Brown drives in. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Boy, what terrific body control. Jalen Brown, so athletic, loves to compete. Love it. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Rose against Holiday. Rose outside. Clark with a screen on Holiday. Shot clock at six. And Porzingis with the block. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Kristaps Porzingis with the rejection. Horford outside. Outside Holiday. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Grizzlies out in front. They lead by 18. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. On the court for the Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Marcus Smart out there with Jackson. And it's Williams in at the five, down low. Brown passes to Porzingis. Williams against Porzingis. And there's the call on Al Horford. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. And here's Morant. Williams with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Oh, the vertical of Morant is simply incredible. I mean, he's fantastic at using it to his advantage on the inside. Brown against Smart. Outside, Brown. Six on the shot clock. Here's Holiday. Williams grabs the board. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Morant surveying the floor. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. And then Morant with the jam! Oh, putting on a show for the fans. Morant's skills making it look like a circus in here. Here's Brown. 
That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Brown's got seven points. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Outside Moran. Cash money from 16 feet away. 14 points for him. Once Ja Morant gets rolling, there is no stopping him. Ja is feeling it tonight. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180. Once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20, he now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do, adding that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. DA? Well, it didn't happen yet, Ali. We'll see. Morant, no good. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. And here's Brown for three. Hits the trifecta. Brown's got five points now this quarter. Now Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep. Boy, you better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Kicks it out to Jackson. Back to Moran from the arc. And it's Moran again missing. Boston has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Porzingis against Williams. Left side Holiday. Kick out to Brown. White the pass to Holiday. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Oh, through contact. White gets the finish. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem. Memphis calls timeout. Got a line change here for Boston. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Williams is checked in for Smart. There's a minute 40 left in the third. Now Morant, he's got 14, and it's in there. Yeah, stepping in from the arc, Morant comfortable from there. Here's Mikhailuk. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Bain. V, Mikhailuk, first personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies. The free throw drops for Bain. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. And so Moran will bring it up for Memphis. Earlier they held a 23-point lead. There's Jackson with the three. The Celtics have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Cornette. Spins. Converts after the nice spin. Cornette's got his first two points. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Timeout call. Memphis. Tatum, he's checked in for Brissett. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Clark is checked in for Williams. Aldama comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Kennard, he's checked in for Desmond Bain. And it's Derrick Rose in for Ja Moran. There's 47 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Here's the three. And Kennard with the three. Kennard's got 10 points in the game. Oh my goodness, Luke Kennard from the next zip code. Good night. Tatum, a screen on Rose. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. And the Celtics, another three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Deflected! The three. Oh, look at Tatum! What a finish! We know we're talking about a skilled scorer in these open floor situations. Jason Tatum knows where to be. Rose finds Kennard. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. Rose has got four assists in the game. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. 
Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. And so it's Memphis. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Breach. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Jason Tatum out there with Luke Cornett. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. Then it's Fyatislav Mikhailu. And it's Hauser in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And the Grizzlies call time here. For Celtics Entertainment. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Cornette. Brown comes in for Hauser. White, he's checked in for Mikhailuk. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Pritchard. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Williams is checked in for Clark. Jackson comes in for Aldama. Bain, he's checked in for Kennard. And it's Morant in for Rose. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. And they told the team, let's keep doing what we're doing. We're up. Do not forget that. They told their team to just relax, to have fun, and to finish this one out. We'll see if they do, guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Williams from long range. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Three points. Moran's got six assists in the game. Porzingis with a screen on Moran. Here's Holiday. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I mean, just forcing the issue, Drew gets a pair at the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Grizzlies. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. The free throw drops for Moran. The boundless athleticism Moran has is really special. He's someone that is always in attack mode. Outside Tatum. Outside White. Pass to Porzingis. Back to White. Outside Holiday. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. Six to shoot. Hey, Tatum getting it done inside. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. The three from Bain. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Pass to Tatum. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Here's Moran. Over Holiday. Moran, no good. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Tatum against Jackson. Porzingis passes to Tatum. They double-team Brown. The three is up. That won't go either for Tatum. Memphis has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Outside Morant. Pass to Jackson. Up top Morant. Morant battling inside. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. Brown passes to Tatum. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Tatum's got 17 points here in the second half. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. Outside Morant. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. Payne, the pass to Williams. Here's Moran. 
Ooh, Morant sticking with it through contact. <laughs> Boy, Morant is a gamer. Sticking that one right through contact. Pass to White on the wing, Holiday. Four three. Ooh, basket interference. The score will not count. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. There's a minute twelve left in the final quarter. Now here's Moran. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. And then Morant with the dunk! And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Grizzlies. They had excellent production from the bench. <laughs> this team has strong depth, and in this game, it showed. And what a huge performance it was for Ja Morant. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Williams finds Morant. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. Morant with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. Williams, a screen on Porzingis. Morant. Count that one. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Outside, Brown. Back to Porzingis. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Guys, how about that body control from Porzingis? You think it's easy at seven foot three to gut your way through that kind of contact? That's nice. Morant with it. So it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. It ends up being a fairly easy...
looks in terms of rotations. Because of their collective depth, both teams can come at you in waves. Another great luxury about depth, you can keep those fresh legs on the floor pretty much at all times. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Bain is the two with Williams playing the three. Then there's Ja Morant, then it's Jaron Jackson. And it's Williams in at the five, roaming the paint. And then Morant with the dunk! The defense tried to guard Ja Morant, but with his speed, he blew right past him. Out to James. Drives to the hoop. Hey, it's Dame slamming it down. What a dribble move by LeBron. All you can do is sit back and admire it. And it's Morant missing. And James has got the ball here for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. The 2023 postseason didn't go as the Grizzlies had envisioned it, Smitty. Yeah, a first-round departure. B.A., I think inexperience and overconfidence got the better of them. A veteran Lakers team was able to put them away. Williams from long range drills it from deep. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now to Achimura. Davis with a screen on Williams. Achimura with room to shoot. Second chance shot. Davis, that's good. That's the hard work you love to see from a star like AD. Never gave up on the play. Morant surveying the floor. Jackson with a screen on Russell. Pass to Williams. Off target with the three. The Lakers have gone four of five so far. Looking sharp. Reeves, the pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. Watch out and watch your head when AD goes up. Here's Moran. Moran with the slam. As creative as they come, John Moran has a style that's specifically his. James outside with the drive. Pass to Russell. And another three for the Lakers. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Moran against Davis. Williams from long range. Davis with a rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of seven and looking good. And here in the first, about three minutes in. And there's James from the arc. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. Now here's Bain. Jackson finds Morant. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Morant's got seven points in the game. I guess Ja didn't like seeing the three at the other end. That's the fire he plays with. Russell drops in the layup for two. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And it's a completely new group for the Lakers. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. As soon as Ja lifts off, you know you're in for a treat. He can simply levitate in the air. It had been a long time since Murray State had produced an NBA star. John Moran changed that narrative. B.A., he certainly did. He's now the highest average scorer in the NBA out of Murray State. This dude is an animal, a walking bucket, if you will. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Following the score by the Lakers. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Pass to Hayes. Oh, he tries a three. He can't get it to go. Memphis trailing here. Now here's Moran. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. An explosive leaper. Ja has no problems with scoring down low. 
Here's Vincent, hounded by Moran. Vincent passes to Reddish. Pass to Prince. Five on the clock. He buries him from three. When Prince gets it clicking from the perimeter, gets his confidence going, the entire offense benefits. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their... And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They came out fire from... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my. Wow. Throw it down. Yes, he did. Something Ja Morant does so well. Once he starts to feel it, he keeps looking to score. And an intentional foul right there. First team foul. First team foul. Here's Vincent, guarded by Rose. The three ball. And the Lakers hit again from deep. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Kennard on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Prince grabs the miss. Los Angeles has got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From West to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. The Grizzlies shooting great, 62% for the field and continuing to get it done. Reddish on the wing. Let's the three fly. Altama grabs a board. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And Kennard with the three. Kennard's got his first three points of the game. Always working to find open territory. Kennard's lethal in catch and shoot. Here's Vincent, guarded by Rose. Fires from deep. Sinks it from distance. Vincent's got eight points. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Took the opportunity when he saw it. A fierce competitor. Kennard fires back with a three of his own. Here's Vincent, guarded by Rose. From downtown, buries it from three. 11 points in the game. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. The drive by Rose. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Here's Vincent, guarded by Rose. To the paint. Six to shoot. Here's Hayes. Tipped. Smart against Prince. Clark left side. Fires the three. Rebound by the Lakers. They've led by as many as 11. Prince, the pass to Hayes. Into the lane. And finished off by Hayes. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Kicks it out to Kennard. Let's the three fly. That's his third basket and five shots. Solid work. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Well, Smitty, Luke Kennard doesn't have a complete game. But his shooting is elite. Yes, B.A., as a knockdown shooter, he is one of the best in the business. When he gets it going, he can bury you with his triples. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. With the floater. Smart looking around. Picked by Aldama. Smart passes to Aldama. That's in. 
coming off an assist from Smart. Yeah, just picking apart the defense. Smart moves things around to create a shot. Here's Vincent, guarded by Rose. Vincent can't hit. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Here's Aldama. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. The great decision from Smart. He's all about doing what's best for the team. Here's Vincent. And again, it's the Lakers. And so it's Rose with it. He brings it up for Memphis. They trail by seven. Pass to Smart. Now here's Kennard. The three is up. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. Here's Vincent. Oh, almost out of hand in a game this close. They're going to challenge the call. Coach does not agree with it, and he wants him to take another look at the monitor. People were worried that this would slow the action. The NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he's good on the first of three. And the second free throw is good. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their play has earned them a nice lead, one they'll look to build on as the game continues. We'll be back in a moment. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Gabe Vincent. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Gabe Vincent out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Achimura in at the three, the small forward. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Down low. That's good from Jackson on the assist by Moran. Jackson's got his first basket. As the point guard, this is Jaw's responsibility. Nice job finding the open man. And there's James from the arc. And another three for the Lakers. He's hitting everything from deep. Just flat out torching this defense. From deep, Moran. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. The shot by Reeves, no good. Memphis has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And now we've got an intentional foul. Russell's checked in for Vincent. Here's Moran. He's got 18 inside. Williams passes to Williams. Moran with it. Russell covering. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on LeBron James. John Morant puts so much pressure on your defense, forces them to foul him. And Morant drops them both. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Morant against Russell. Pass.
Pass to James. Hachimura outside. Just five on the clock. Screen by James. Jacks up a three. And it's Bain with the rebound. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Moran against Russell. Now Moran. And then Moran with the dunk. With the ball on the screen, John Morant is toying with the defense. Beautiful. Oh, huge slam by LeBron. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Morant, pass to Bain. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Kicks it out to Bain. Back to Jackson. Pass to Morant. Aggressive take from Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. You gotta be faster than that to beat Ja Moran to the spot. He's too explosive. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. Back to James. Driving. Oh, hammer at home. That hurt. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. That free throw, good from James. You know, at this point, I think we can call LeBron James timeless. The seasons change, but his game stays strong. He's a rare talent. And the Lakers making a change here. Vanderbilt's checked in. From deep, Morant. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's Vincent. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Vincent's got 20. He's been locked in all night, and he's taking good shots. Smitty, when you look at a player like Gabe Vincent, you got to respect his confidence, man. B.A., this kid doesn't think twice about firing away, especially from outside the arc, where he can be dangerous. Turn around, Jay. It's Hayes with the rebound. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Vanderbilt. And yep, it's good. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Now a timeout called by Memphis. So Memphis ends up going with a new group. 59 seconds left in the third. Rose outside. Pass to Aldama. Three-pointer. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got four rebounds now. Vanderbilt with a screen. Hayes, the pass to Vanderbilt. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Vanderbilt's got six. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Kennard on the wing. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Knocks down the long J. 15 points in the game. And any decent look from distance, he's taking it. He has that locked-in mentality right now. This is when they need it the most, so they're so close to evening this game up. does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. The Lakers on top, leading by... Okay, fans. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Well, the Lakers shooting about 70% from the floor. Hard to do better than that. On the court for Memphis. Bain is the two with Williams playing the three. Then there's Job Rand, then it's Jaron Jackson, and it's Williams in at center. Moran against Russell. Now here's Moran. Defense right on him. I'm not 
not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. The three, James. Williams grabs the board. And it's Morant with the ball for the Grizzlies. Two-point game. Back to Payne. To tie it up, he takes it in. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by James. And slam dunk by James. LeBron is playing well. The ageless wonder. Here's Morant. Morant flashes his vertical there. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. On the wing, Davis. Williams defending. And it's slammed in by Oxymura. And coming down the stretch, both teams still playing fantastic offense. Yes. And if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his fourth foul of the contest. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And here's Morant outside. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. When John Morant is hitting those, you're in for a long night because we know what he can do off the bounce. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here, the fans going crazy right now. On the wing, Bane, to tie it up. Drops in the three. And that makes it a tie ball game. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. James, outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Grizzlies have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Outside, Williams. Stolen by Russell. That's tipped and stolen by Bain. Back to Williams. Outside Morant. Morant with the slam! Calling for the ball in crucial moments. Morant steps up when it matters most. James deciding where to go with it. Not to Achimura. Screen by James to the middle. LeBron, a smooth operator inside. When you need a big score, you want LeBron to at least touch the ball, and this is why. Here's Morant. Pass to Jackson. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. And the Grizzlies lead by two. The young fella, Jaron Jackson, has showed us the ability to step up and make big shots. Hachimura sets a screen. James, outside. Memphis has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Now here's Moran. The D's right on him. Driving in. Whoa! John dropping the hammer. Every team needs a closer in the clutch. Morant proving he's that guy. Russell against Moran. Outside Russell. Pass to Davis. James outside. Davis with a screen on Jackson. Four on the clock. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Some scouts were surprised when Jackson's wingspan was measured over seven foot five. That's a huge number, especially when you talk about contesting shots. Second team. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First free throw is good. And that puts him up five. Desmond Bain can score from anywhere on the floor. And he also can defend multiple positions. You can't afford to waste any chances at this stage of the game. That means you've got to hit your free throws. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. 
Here's James. Pass to Davis. Here's Hachimura. Money. And now they trail by just four. That's what Davis can provide for you. Gave his man such a great look. Here's Bain. And so the big...
Shit, the guard go. positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ball game. Here's Durant. And Davis sends it back. Got to be careful putting up a shot around Anthony Davis. And here we go. Here's LeBron. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. First team. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here's Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Great timing by Booker, setting up his teammate for success. To the left side wing. Reeves the pass to Russell. Now, Hachimura. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Reeves following the score by Phoenix. Sinks the three-pointer. And that's another basket for them. They have really come out blazing here in the first. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. Now, here is Russell. Devin Booker missing his last shot. Russell, no luck. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Here's KD. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on LeBron James. Boy, when Durant's on the attack, so quick and explosive, puts the defense in a bind. And both free throws good for Durant. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Russell against Booker. Inside, Durant with the steal. And Phoenix pushing it up now. And Booker throws it down! The long arms of Durant helping on the break there. KD still got it all started there. LeBron against KD. And James throws it down hard. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is. Rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. Booker against Russell. Outside, KD. It's Allen with the drive. Five to shoot. Five to the hoop. And finished off by KD. Tell you what, when Durant is feeling it, he puts on some swagger. He's going to let you know he's got it going. Kicks it out to James. Down low. Davis the pass to Hachimura. Davis with a screen on Allen. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And the three ball is good. Hachimura's got six. Just solid with the jump shot. Hachimura helps your offense in a number of ways. In that case, spacing the floor. Hooker the pass to Nurkic. And finished off by Nurkic. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. And here is Los Angeles now. The Suns getting the bucket. James, a screen on Durant. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. James, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. For three. 
The putback, great positioning on the putback. And this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points, staying active even after the shot goes up. LeBron with it, now guarded by Nurkic. Reeves the pass to Davis. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. It's good. Ten points for LeBron. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Allen surveying the D. And finished off by KD. Not many bigs can slow down KD once he gets around the rim. Passes it to Reeves. Beal with the steal. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Allen kicks to Beal. The drive by KD. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. I don't think you could design a better score than Durant. I mean, range from deep. The touch at the rim. Excellent handle. Seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the lot. Vincent with it. Working on Booker. Vincent's shot is good. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Lakers. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. I would like to highlight, too, guys, the excellent passing they've done early on. I mean, they've done a really good job putting the ball into the hands of guys ready to shoot it. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter... Cameron Reddish is out there with Vincent. Then it's Jackson Hay. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. And it's Prince in at the three slot. Here's Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Kept alive. Outside for Beal. Allen outside. The pass to Bowl. Hayes with the steal. O'Neal against Vanderbilt. Puts up a three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. To the middle. Here's Bowl. And the dunk by Bowl. It's really easy for Bowl to throw it down, man. I'm a little jealous, especially with these freaky knees that I've got. I don't even think I could dunk in my dreams. Reddish the pass to Vincent. And another three for the Lakers. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Booker looking around. Allen kicks to Booker. Back to Allen. Dishes to Beal. Here's Booker. Good, and Beal picking up the assist. Booker's got six. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And that's what we do in life normally, right? Lock at six. O'Neal with the steal. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Beal. Again, Phoenix. And I'm sorry, but the D's got to know where Beal is at all times, especially when he's leaking out in transition. Here's Vincent. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Vincent, defended by Booker. Vanderbilt, a screen on Booker. Vincent, the pass to Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Guys, they're not backing off at all, are they? Bull kicks it out to Booker. Back to Bull. Allen outside. Outside, Beal. Six on the shot clock. 
Fires top of the key. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Devin Booker. And what a baller Booker is. Capable of torching you from any spot on the floor. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Los Angeles leading by three. And, Clark, here we are looking at a player like Bull Bull, big man who continues to improve. And part of that improvement clearly is work ethic taking coaching but also he's a confident young man he believes that he belongs in this league and he backs it up with how he carries himself and how he plays he rifled that one in from distance Booker's got 11 points difficult shot there are only a handful of players in this league with Booker's range Vanderbilt a screen on Beal here's Reddish three-pointers off the mark. The Suns have gotten nearly everything to fall for them here in the second quarter. They're a great 7 of 8 from the floor. Booker finds Bull. And he hits it to tie the game up. Bull's got six points in the quarter. Few players are as tall as Bull. I think which makes him a legitimate threat to score inside almost at will. Time out, time and so out. they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. with a completely new group on the floor. Here is Davis. Hasn't made one yet. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. You know, Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively and defensively. He's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. An outstanding performance from Durant so far. But you know what? That's par for the course for him. He's just a natural scorer. Here's Gordon. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. And here is LeBron. James on the drive, and James throws it down. Well, that's one man never afraid to punch it. Give LeBron a path to the bucket. And the finish is going to be something in a post. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Son, thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. A Kogi and Durant are the forwards. Lee out there with Gordon, and it's Nurkic in at the five. Roaming the paint. Who's out there for Phoenix? Knowing exactly where his guys are at all times, that's a nice dime from the king. Gordon against Russell. Gordon dishes to KD. He wants to get it to Nurkic and does. Five on the clock. KD passes to Lee. Over LeBron. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Lee. Durant's got the lead up to four now for the Suns. 
KD against LeBron. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Outside, Russell. Rebound by Nurkic. Phoenix leading by four. To the inside. Kicks it out to Gordon. Outside, KD. Lee outside. Durant drawing the double team. Akogi, the pass to Durant. And the Suns tack on two more. You know, of all the things Okogi does well, his passing tends to get overshadowed at times. I mean, easy to see how creative he is on this feed. And it's good, two points. Russell's got his first points in this one. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Nurkic a screen on LeBron. It's Durant with the drive, and Davis sends it back. Now, here is Russell. Left side, Davis. LeBron outside. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. With the draw. Oh, a big move by LeBron. You know, once he takes that first step, LeBron is virtually unstoppable. Raw athleticism gives him the upper hand. Nurkic is screen on Russell. Gordon dishes to Nurkic. Outside for KD. It doesn't go either for Durant. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. For the tie. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. We're always hearing the debate. Who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark only puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he plays. Making the right choice there. I mean, Russell, this is what scouts like about him, his feel, that intuitive feel for the game. Phoenix calls timeout. Get loud, man. All the boys. Vanderbilt checked in for James. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. And they get it. That shot off. Nice D from Russell. LA's gotten two thirds of their three pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. He takes it in. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling and put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. An underrated athlete with a solid handle. Defenders can't always keep up with Booker on the drive. Hachimura down low. He's against Allen. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. And they get it back. Here's Booker. Number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. A growing part of Bowles' game. Good to see him connect from the corner. Lakers have gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this quarter. What a fantastic start to the half. Reeves the pass to Vanderbilt. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. Good on the three-point shot. Hachi Murray's got 13. Working it to the open teammate that time. Excellent awareness from Davis. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Again, the miss by Booker. Lakers leading by five. Russell passes to Reeves. Davis with a screen on Beal. Down low. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. 
And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because... And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. I begged his players to keep it simple out there. I told them one possession at a time. Don't look at the scoreboard. What's most important is running our plays and being aggressive defensively. We'll see if they can follow that game plan. Guys? Thanks so much, David. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward position. Nurkic kicks to Booker. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And love how fearless Booker can be. Even the foul doesn't deter him from finishing off his business. Los Angeles leading by six. Here's Russell. Chalk up two there. Well, I tell you what, such a smooth, tight handle. I mean, especially for a guy with a 6'5 frame and 6'9 wingspan. Outside, Beal. Driving the lane. Kicks it out to Booker. And the dunk by Booker. Nice read from the veteran Durant that time. Recognizing the defense had overcommitted. Los Angeles has gone 7-10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. And LeBron throws it down hard. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Takes it out to Booker. Allen dishes to KD. Back to Allen. Shot clock at six. Outside, KD. And there's the drive. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. Allen's got three assists in the game. Russell fires away from way outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Even from deep range, Russell is dialed in, taking a tough shot and making it look easy. KD a screen on Russell. Booker with a deep three. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Lakers leading by nine. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Sinks the triple. And you know, this has become a real weapon for Russell now, and it's because he's worked hard on this shot. Nurkic just screen on Russell. Here's Booker. And Davis sends it back. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Beal against Davis. Beal the pass to Allen. Durant in the corner. And stolen by James. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Russell with it. Now Beal defending. Kicks it out to James. Shot clock at five. Here he goes. You know, it's really hard for me to say if there's ever been anyone better at finishing through contact than LeBron. He's just so big and strong and fast, too. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by 14. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Gordon's checked in for the Suns. Here's Durant. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Los Angeles leading by 14. James outside. Davis with a screen on KD. Your catch against LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. 
late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. Yeah, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Out to KD. And the layup falls. KD's got 23 points. Durant with tremendous touch. He's just a natural scorer. Here's Hachimura. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And the Lakers lead by 17. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Lakers. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth, and they showed it in this game. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Man, can you always depend on him or what? to lead you to the right place with that pass. Money. And they double up Russell. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Russell. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Driving to the basket. Just five on the clock. Davis setting the pick for Hachimura. And they force the shot violation. clock violation. Great team. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. Get up it, get up it. Outside, Beal. Here's Allen, and it's Allen slamming it down. <laughs> Solid, just no messing around there. Got
teams that pride themselves on their defense. Yes, but just because it's low scoring doesn't mean the quality of basketball isn't great. It's going to be more of a chess match than it is a track meet, though. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Grayson Allen is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And for Nurkic, one of his key attributes, the ability to keep the play alive on the glass. Here's Middleton, following the score by Phoenix. The shot won't fall. Booker against Lopez. Pass to Nurkic. Back to Booker. And there's the drive, and the layup is good off the glass. There is no on-off switch for Booker. He is always in attack mode. Lopez, the screen on Allen. The open shot by Middleton. He's now one for two with that bucket. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Lillard. Hits the three-pointer. And showing the point guard instincts there. Boy, Giannis can make it look easy. The shocker of the 2023 trade deadline. Kevin Durant moving to the Suns, RJ. And then the shocker of the summer, adding Bradley Beal. Now they have a mean trio when you add him with KD and Book. I'm a fan of front offices going for it. Put all your chips in the middle. Let's go get a title. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. Back to Booker. He takes it in. And Booker throws it down. This is the confidence Booker has in himself. He feels like no one can guard him, and he's probably right. Lillard looking around. Oh, and the jam by Lillard. Oh, wow. Dane just sticking it to the other team, and you can see it's motivating his squad as well. And it's slammed in by Durant. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And Durant with the big finish. Oh, absolutely aggressive move by Durant. Taking it right to the hole with authority. And it's oh! That is powerful. Oh, yes. Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. Now here's Allen. That's good from Durant. On the assist by Beal. Durant's got six. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Lillard against Booker. Lillard outside. Just four to shoot. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. For three. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Well, Richard, Kevin Durant has been a big-time scorer in the NBA since he stepped onto the hardwood. No, and I played against him as a rookie. And let me tell you, even the veteran team that we had, we knew that this guy was going to be a bucket getter for a long time. Milwaukee with the ball. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Lillard with the ball. Nurkic picks him up. And it's Lopez with the jam. And I love the balance for Lillard between scoring and passing. That time, finding his teammate for the great look. Nurkic finds Beal. Outside for Booker. Drives to the hoop. Allen, the pass to Booker. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And one thing that makes Devin Booker so dangerous as a scorer, his ability to create for others, Richard. Yeah, you have to respect his passing, which prevents the defense from loading up against him. In fact, coming into the league, some scouts liked him as a point guard.
Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And on a good pull, here we go. And it's good. Two points. Yeah, and this speaks to how strong Giannis is. Able to still convert despite the physical defense. And the free throw, no good. Middleton. To the inside. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put in the work. Got a second chance to score. Durant, the pass to Booker. Going inside. And Booker with the jam. He's hitting on all cylinders. Booker takes off and never looks back. Anadokounmpo, right side. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. Devin Booker, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for... Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. And another thing they've done is look to shoot from the mid-range often. So far, it's really paying off for them. Giannis and Portis work together inside. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. And it's Beverly in at the one. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Middleton outside. Takes the three. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Middleton's got seven. Now, if you're the defense, you can't allow Middleton to heat up out there. I mean, he can be so efficient from long range. Back to Durant. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Here's Allen after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. 19-footer. Durant, no good. The Bucks trail. Connaughton outside. Dunks it down. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Here we go. Middleton from the outside. And the box hit again from deep. Yeah, as good as anyone on the catch and shoot, Middleton deposits another J. Ran against Anadokounmpo. Durant with it. He's got 10. Outside goal. They need this. It's hauled in by Beverly. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Beverly on the wing. Back to Portis. Allen against Middleton. Releases. Again! Milwaukee! You know, and with a rare combination of length and shooting, Chris Middleton is a bucket. Durant drives in, and the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. And I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. Durant, it's all in by Portis. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the plate and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Milwaukee with the ball. Coming off a of Suns make. And that one's good. Middleton, one of the purest shooters in this game. Stopping Middleton has to be a focal point for your defense. Phoenix calls timeout.
in with a whole new group out there. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Suns. Bradley Beal comes in for Lee. Beal, the pass to O'Neal. Back to Beal. Up and in on the layup. We all know Beal might be a shorter off guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. All alone. Again, Milwaukee. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Beal, the pass to O'Neal. Out to Gordon. Beal outside. Back to Gordon. Beal finds Gordon. Three-pointer, no good. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Here's Gallinari. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Bull Bull. And he can't get the first one. Grant, usually the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks. By snapping the ball around, it also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. Gordon outside. Screen by O'Neal. Gordon, the pass to O'Neal. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Crowder. Milwaukee in the lead. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Jackson gets the bucket. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. Now here's Allen. Back to Gordon. Down low. Here's Beal. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Beal's got four points now in the quarter. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. A nice shot by Lillard. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. And we finished off one half a play. The Bucks on top. Up nine. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Hey. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Really an incredible game from Chris Middleton. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for Milwaukee. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. And so in the game for the Suns. Josh Okogie is out there with Royce O'Neal. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Booker in at the point guard position. That free throw, no good. At the line for two, Bojan. And he's good on the second. And the Suns shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. Lillard against Booker. There's the triple. The rebound by the Bucks, And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Crowder outside. From deep. Gets the three to fall. Crowder's got himself on the board with a three there. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Now here's Beal. On the take. Count the basket. Beal's got six. The tight handle of Bradley Beal, it makes him hard to stop. Jackson against Beal. And it's Jackson on the take. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. And then Beal with the dunk. Whoo, decisive drive and finish right there. Beal sees everything out there so quickly. I love it. 
Lillard against Booker. Here's Lillard. He's got nine. To the paint. Six on the shot clock. And it's Bochamp missing. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Ooh, Booker from range. Pure. At the arc, Booker is pretty efficient. This man can hurt you from downtown if you're not careful. Fires it. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. See that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. Phoenix is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Connects from downtown. And now just a five-point Milwaukee lead. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Things are firing on all cylinders for them right now. But we'll see if they can keep it going. The defense gets cut to shreds by Lillard on the drive. He's just so quick and agile. Booker, the pass to O'Neal. Back to Booker. The three is up. Drains the triple. Booker's got 19 points. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Jackson, pass to Crowder. And he drives in. Lillard outside. Fires the three. And the box hit again from deep. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's Bochamp. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Driving to the basket. Out to Lillard. The three. The Suns clear it. Here's O'Neal. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Back to Beal. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Milwaukee has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Lillard passes to Crowder. Here's Gallinari. Takes a three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Makoki into the lane. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. No good on that one. Lee, he's checked in for Phoenix. Gordon comes in for Devin Booker. Good on the second one. So it's Milwaukee now. They lead by four. Anadokounmpo looking it over. The strong finish by Giannis. And the game plan for them should be simple. Keep getting it to Giannis. The Greek freak is on fire. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Lee. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Tough break for the defense. So he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Here's Beverly, still without a bucket. Ana de Kumpo outside. Back to Beverly. Pass to Lopez. Launches it. Fires in the triple. Lopez has got five points. That's something that Lopez has added to his game over the years. You really have to guard him closely on the perimeter. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. More 2K action in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. 
With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Phoenix calls timeout. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. He said to them, you guys look defeated out there. Wake up. This game is far from over, but I need you all to believe that. I need you to fight for one another right now. Allie, thank you. That small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Patrick Beverly out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Lopez, the screen. Middleton passes to Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a score, also a solid passer and distributor. Durant with a screen on Beverly. Booker finds Durant. Durant, so effective inside. This has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. And the jam by Ana de Kumpo. Yeah, what a sweet move from Giannis. Just breaking down the defense there. Booker, the pass to Allen. Outside Booker. There's a screen by Bolt. Shot clock at six. And it's Devin Booker with the three. Booker's got 24 points. And we've kind of come to expect this performance from Booker every night. His scoring is just that consistent. Here's Kumpo. And the jam by Kumpo. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. KD gets a step. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. How many guys his size can pull up off the dribble and move like that? Durant is the real unicorn. Middleton outside. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Here's Lopez. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Lopez has got four points now in the quarter. Beverly against Booker. Shoots over Beverly. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. For Milwaukee, they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Beasley against Beal. Anadokounmpo outside. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. One of the only ways to slow down Antetokounmpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. Damian Lillard's checked in for Milwaukee. Phoenix has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Booker surveying the floor. Here's Bowl. And finished off by Bowl. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. Beal against Lillard. Pass to Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. Talk about strength and athletic ability. Lopez can maneuver against his opponents down low. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Yeah, the other thing they're doing is absolutely scorching the net. Red hot from outside all game long. Middleton outside. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Some fire from Middleton. He's a springy 6'8", attacking off the wing. Out to Beal. Pass to Bowl. Back to Beal. And he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter here. Beverly outside. 
Here's Lillard. Oh, Lillard with the dunk. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Bucks. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He really managed to shine on both ends of the floor, finding lots of opportunities to affect the game and make an impact. A proven champion. Middleton is someone any team would love to have. A great player and a great locker room presence as well. Durant finds Beal. The kick to Durant. Beyond the arc. Rebound by Middleton. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Kumpo outside. Inside. Here's Lopez. And down it goes. Two points. And the Bucks lead by 15. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And Durant with the big finish. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Now Middleton. And so it...
teams that are among the most athletic in the NBA. And I don't know if it'll be a track meet, but it will be an up-tempo game. And that's the only way these teams know how to play. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. We'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at center. A huge fan of how Tatum runs the floor. It's almost a lost art. Uh, terrific when he's in attack mode in transition, putting a lot of pressure on that defense. Barry's the long-range jumper. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Out to White, beyond the arc, buries it from three-point range. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. At the elbow, it's Brown. Here's Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Tatum's got his second basket. You see the unselfishness right there. Brown wanting to keep his teammates involved. And to Dekumbo. Makes it off the glass. Uncovered at the rim. Finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Brown. Tatum with it. And Lopez pulls it down. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. His touch from mid-range, and that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Well, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. That chess match is where they hope to improve. Well, the defense now better pay attention. If Giannis is hitting threes, those pickup points have to become higher. Outside Holiday, out to Porzingis, and there's the pass to White. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Holiday, the pass to Brock. Four on the clock. Here's White. Off target with his three. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Lopez passes to Lillard. Ghana is with it. Back to Lillard. Goes up on the top of the key. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one is on holiday. Well, there the defender tries to get up in the early jump position. Unfortunately for him, Lillard saw it coming. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And now a veteran in the NBA. You get the feeling every season is important to Dane Lillard. Yeah, but I get the feeling, Greg, that it's just not enough. These individual accolades and these high-scoring season. Dane Lillard wants to play in competitive basketball late into June, so it's going to be about championships for him moving forward. Yes, that goes in. White's got five points so far. And that passing ability really helps separate Tatum from so many others because the defense has to focus on his ability to score several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Now here's Tatum. Six points for him. Takes the three. Lillard with the rebound. Milwaukee has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. 112 left in the first. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. With the lineup out there, that might be the last guy you want to foul. Dame's got some of the best free throw numbers in history. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Jay Crowder comes in for Antetokounmpo. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here is Holiday, still scoreless. The layup off target. Bucks leading by three. Outside Crowder. Back to Lillard. 
launches a three. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. Austin's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Holiday against Lillard. Pass to Brown. The three. Beasley with the rebound. The Bucks have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Outside Crowder. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Free throw good Crowder. Crowder has done such a great job of carving out a career as being a tough and dependable defender. And White kicks to Brown. Jacks up a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Beasley for three. And what about the hustle from Brown on D? Just not giving his man any room to feel comfortable. Well, nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of... And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Just they've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Such a great way to silence hostile fans who want the up-and-down pace that gets them amped up. Instead, everyone's just standing around watching the free throw game. So with Lillard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Jackson is out there with Jay Crump. Then there's Pat Connaughton. Then there's Bobby Portis. And it's Beverly in at the point. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Makai Luke can't get it to go. Crowder finds Portis. It's hauled in by Cornette. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Here's Mikhailu. Hauser the pass to Mikhailu. It's the three-point five. Mikhailuk's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Portis kicks to Beverly. Back to Portis. And Portis throws it down. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that play. Mikhailuk passes to Pritchard. Ball movement by Boston. Warford from outside. He gets hauled in by Beverly. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Pass to Connaughton. You've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. Boston's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Pritchard, defended by Beverly. Passes it to Mikhailu. Stolen by Jackson. Pass break, Milwaukee. All going up court. Nice shot by Portis. And the Bucks lead by one. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Now, here's Horford. Here's Pritchard. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Really as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. And the shot's good from Crowder. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. 
And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Chris Middleton is a huge part of the Bucks' offensive attack. Giannis says we need him to be aggressive, taking over games. And asked whether down the stretch he needed to be the one to take over. Giannis says, nah, I trust this guy to death. If he wants the ball, he gets it. Simple as that. Kevin? You're so right, David. The trust factor is definitely there. Hey, thanks for the report. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. The pass to Hauser. And they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Now that contact's just really no problem for Giannis. He's just too broad and too strong to get shut down. Here's Pritchard, defended by Beverly. Out to the right wing. Richard passes to Horford. Down to five on the shot clock. Austin needs to get off a shot. The shot, no good. Great D that time for Middleton. And so Beverly will bring it up for Milwaukee. This is Giannis. And Giannis throwing it down. Only a few big guys in this league. They can score at will. Giannis is one of them. Pritchard passes to Horford. Pass to Hauser. Back to Horford. Here's Pritchard. Defended by Beverly. Picked by Horford. Here's Pritchard. And the three off target. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Bucks lead by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. You look at Anadokounmpo in this game has been everywhere. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively. But he's going to keep going at them. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Chris Stapps Przingis is out there with Tatum, and it's Holiday in at the point. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second Three. half. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Milwaukee has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Back to Anadokounmpo and taken away by Brown. And pushing it up, here's Boston. White, wide open. He fires. The shot's good. Brown making the play. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. And Bochamp gets it to go. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Tatum finds Brown. The 17-footer goes down. Brown's got five now. And not the easiest shot on the floor. And, and Brown sticking with that one, showing his confidence. Middleton outside. He dishes it to Giannis. Back to Middleton. Inside, Lopez. A second chance effort. He gets that one. Lopez has got his first basket. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. Solid effort. Holiday, no one around him. No good with the triple. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Ask any player who's the best perimeter defender. They'll all say Drew Holiday. Uh, Drew is elite on that end of the floor. He can force turnovers, disrupt and just damage plays and challenge all the shots. 
think you've lost him, and he's right there with you. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That sends Jason Tatum to the free throw line. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. Now here's Beverly. No scoring in this one. Bochamp misses. Boston has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. He hits Brown with the drive. Porzingis kicks to Tatum. A three from Tatum. Smart pass from Porzingis. Just a better shot available. Bucks trail by three. Giannis inside. Guarded by Tatum. And that one's good by Giannis. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Back to Holiday. Brown feeling it out a bit. Outside Holiday in the corner. Tatum with it. This one for three, and the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. The Bucs have gone 4-6 or six from the field since the start of the third. And here's Middleton. And that's collected by Drew Holiday. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Pass to Beverly. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. On to Dekumbo against White. The kick out to Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Milwaukee also making some changes. Jay Crowder's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Patrick Beverly. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder can knock down a mid-range shot from time to time. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Here's Pritchard. Covered by Lillard. Horford kicks to Cornette. Six to shoot. Lopez with the steal. Right side Crowder. Lillard outside. And there's the drive. It's deflected. The Celtics have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. And here's Boston. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Passes it to McKaylee. Celtics passing it around. Three pointer. Trains it from beyond the arc. McKaylee's got the lead up to nine now for Boston. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now. And if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. And the shot's good from Crowder. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Celtics. He finishes with nine points. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by six. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. 
Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. And that one's good by Giannis. Giannis anticipating there and just creates his own chance. White against Beasley. White the pass to Tatum. And Holiday kicks to Porzingis. Six on the shot clock. Brown inside the line. And again, it's Boston converting. And won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. A, a talented score. There are many ways Lopez can beat you, which makes him so difficult to defend. Holiday dishes to Tatum. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. On the wing, Brown. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. On the wing, Holiday. Covered by Lillard. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Bucks trail by four. Giannis outside. Onto the Kumbo. Converts inside. And Lillard right now at that point guard position has total control of the offense. Holiday surveying the floor. He kicks it to White. Here's Tatum. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Craig, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. That be honest, taken away by Holiday. Oh, and here comes Porzingis all alone. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Celtics lead by four. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Celtics. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steal. And something else that has stood out is their... Oh, Jason Tatum finishes with authority! I'll tell you what, don't sleep on Tatum. He has some ups. And, and I love seeing him trying to electrify the crowd. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrating. Middleton for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's White. There's the drive. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. Lillard with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. To the paint. Here's Lopez. And it's White with the rebound. Austin leading by six. Holiday left side. The pass to Persingas. Back to Holiday. Off target on the 15-footer. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. How about that shot by Middleton? Doesn't matter where it is in the game. He'll take that shot. Alert against Holiday. Brown the pass to Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. On the wing, Giannis. Porzingis with the block. That's a forgotten skill as Porzingis able to get up there and throw that one away. He's finished top ten in blocks a couple of times. White against Lopez. And here's Tatum for three. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. No, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Austin's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Brown wide open. He fired. And again, Boston with the triple. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. 
Beasley finds Middleton. To halt the run, and he knocks down the jumper. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Holiday against Lillard. Pass to Persingas. The dish to Brown. And again, Boston with the triple. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Here's White.
Tonight's game is a great example of that. Two teams with a lot of assists. What you like about both of these teams is every player has an opportunity to touch the basketball. And generally speaking, the more engaged you become, the more you touch it. Doesn't mean everybody gets equal shot opportunities, but these teams play a pretty style of basketball. And the starting group for the Celtics. White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. Moran. Ooh, the turnaround jumper counted. A phase of his game that Jaws worked hard on. Morant's jumper becoming more and more reliable. The leaner. Williams grabs the board. Great contest down low. Allowing no easy hoops is a winning approach. Morant surveying the floor. Morant with the slam! Putting on a show for the fans. Morant's skills making it look like a circus in here. Known as one of the most successful teams in NBA history, the Boston Celtics continue to add to their legacy doors. Yeah, B.A., this is a roster that completely understands how special it is to play for this organization. They also are mindful of the weight of expectation that comes with it. Championships are their history. Championships are what is expected. Takes a turnaround, Jay. Morant, no good. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. It's Brown on the wing. On the wing, Tatum. Clock at six. Kick out to Brown. Over Bain. Great D that time from Bain. The Grizzlies have gone two of three from the floor. Holiday against Moran. Into the lane. Soft touch off the glass. Moran's got six. And, and that's Moran for you. Not suddenly. When he sees the opening, he goes for it. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Now here's Moran. He has six. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. And the bounce that Moran possesses is unlike anyone else at his position. White against Bain. Outside, Brown. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Jackson. For Memphis, they've gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Morant, the pass to Bain. Jackson surveying the D. Back to Bain. White with the steal. Tatum finds Holiday. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Up top white, guarded by Bain. Holiday against Moran. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Give him eight points now. You have to know how to play pick and roll in today's NBA. And Porzingis has got great instincts of when to dive and when to fade. Now here's Moran. Ten points for him. With the drive. And then Moran with the jam! This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Now I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Brown passes to Holiday. There's 45 seconds left in the opening quarter. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. Now Morant. He's got 12. Outside Bain. Morant with a screen on white. Bain finds Jackson. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Brown passes to Porzingis. Outside Tatum, fires for three, knocks it down from distance. 
Boy, that jumper is as pure as it gets. Jason Tatum off a pass from his teammate, makes easy work of it. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. Morant with the slam! Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. Easy money for Gustav Porzingis. That's 7-3 we're talking about. Got it up. That shot off the mark. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. It's the Celtics. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Boston. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Marcus Smart out there with Santi Aldama. Then it's Brandon Clark. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Kennard in at the two guard. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Pritchard, the pass to McKinley. Right and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other and it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. Richard, nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong and there's no help defensively. Here's Rose. He's scoreless. Aldama outside. Let's go with a three. Rebound Boston. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Cornette passes to Pritchard. Five to shoot. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Back to Horford. Launches a three. Tries again. There's the drive. And he takes it up and lays it in. Horford's got his first bucket in this one. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch. And neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Here's Mikhailuk, defended by Kennard. Cornette with the bucket. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. Memphis trailing here. Here's Rose. No made baskets yet. Driving in. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Yeah, he's still showing flashes of that incredible athleticism. Rose is a force attacking the lane. Out to the right wing. Back to Cornette. Here's Mikhailuk. He buries it from three. Mikhailuk's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Rose, the pass to Kennard. From the arc. Knocks down the triple. And the Grizzlies lead by one. Well, Kennard loves and relishes the opportunity to come back with his triple. Shot on the wing. Pritchard, no good. And so Smart will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Puts up a three. And again, 
It's Memphis with a three. Never thought I'd say this, but you simply cannot back off Marcus Smart. When you do that, he's going to bury you. Pass to Cornette. And he gets that one. Cornette's got his second basket. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Aldama outside. There's the three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. And it's stolen by Rose. There's 31 seconds left in the first half. Six to shoot. Clark with a screen on Horford. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, Clark with the slam. And Rose, always aggressive coming off those screens, forced the defense to contain him and drops it off for the nice assist. The shot's good. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. To the middle. Here's Kennard. It's blocked. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Grizzlies up five. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime oh a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one his whole first half looked like a highlight reel rising up and just owning the rim and this guy he plays fast he's aggressive and it's the skill the grace Morant leave it to Morant to shock the defense like this I mean just putting it on a string Left side Tatum from behind the arc. And the Celtics another three. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. B.A., he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. They kick it out to Porzingis. Over Williams. Porzingis misses. Memphis has gone three of six from deep so far. Moran finds Williams. And is blocked. How about the defense from Holiday? Reading the play and using his defensive instincts to swat it back. From deep, Moran. And it's Jason Tatum with the rebound. Austin trailing. Horford passes to Holiday. Puts it up. Grizzlies with the rebound. Boy, defense nowhere to be found, and neither was his shot at that time. And stolen by Porzingis. Horford outside. 4-3. Williams grabs the board. The Grizzlies have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pass to Bain. Holiday against Moran. Clock at six. This one for three. Ooh, that's good. Moran from way out. And you often see defenses beg Moran to take that shot. <laughs> Didn't work that time. Now here's Porzingis. Pass to Tatum. From outside the arc. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Yeah, I know. He usually makes you pay from that range. Holiday against Moran. Williams with it. Back to Moran. Ja slices through. And then Moran with the dunk. Just electric. Ja Moran. I mean, someone you pay to see. Right side Tatum. Three-pointer. Hits a three-pointer. Tatum's got six points in the quarter. That right there... That's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Now here's Moran. 
21 points in the game. Jackson with a screen on Holiday. The drive by Moran. Horford with the block. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Cornette's checked in for Porzingis. Hauser comes in for Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Moran into the lane. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. The boundless athleticism Moran has is really special. He's someone that is always in attack mode. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, through NBA Africa, the league is putting a lot of resources into growing the game there. Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo is an investor, and he said, it's always been my dream since I got into the league. I want to see the NBA on my continent. Africa is a place full of treasure, and I'm happy to see it taking place. Brian? Outstanding. Look forward to that. Thanks, Allie. In the time third out, quarter out. with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Timeout called Memphis. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. Clark has checked in for Williams. Aldama comes in for Jackson. Kennard, he's checked in for Bain. And Rose is subbed in for Moran. Sam Howard, first personal foul, second team foul. And he knocks down the first one. Well, an interesting thing about Derrick Rose, right? Over his career, he's been an up-and-down jump shooter. But he's been remarkably consistent from the free-throw line. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink him. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Brown with it, and it's all down. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Incredible! Oh, my goodness. How about that move by Jalen Brown? That is spectacular. Kennard passes to Clark. Brown with it. No good with the triple. Rose against Brown. To the inside, Clark. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Clark's got six points. The vision by Rose, right? Hits the open man. He's creating for others. And this guy is so tough to deal with. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Clark grabs the board. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert your traffic. Bad foul. That's not who you want to send to the line. Second personal foul. Thirteen foul. And that one falls for Rose. And so Rose knocks them both down. Twenty seconds left to play in the third quarter. Here's Pritchard. The crossover. Rose grabs the board. One second left. Takes it at bat. It's in. Oh, nails the buzzer beater. Are you? And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Grizzlies out in front, up by 15. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. They've got Derrick Rose, Brandon Clark out there with Santi Aldama. Then it's Luke Kennard, and it's Williams in a small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. A line change here for Memphis. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. 
Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. Coach had a direct message for the team saying, no matter the lead, no NBA game is ever over. Do not let your guard down. We'll see if they hold on. And Allie, thanks. And tearing them to shreds tonight. You know, when a player as versatile as Moran starts going on, look out. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Outside Morant. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Grizzlies lead by 15. And just a forceful play by Jackson. Clearing the glass and muscling his way to his own shot. Kick out to Brown. Over Smart. Holiday passes to Brown. Back to Tatum. It's Tatum working inside. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. Outside Morant. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Good. And the setup by Morant. The way Morant sets up his teammates is as good as any guard in this league. Outside Holiday. And he lays it up and in. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Here's Morant. Kicks it out to Bain. Out to the wing. Outside Morant. Shot clock at five. Another shot. Rebounded by the Celtics. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Tatum finds Holiday. Shoot from the elbow. Again, Boston. Yeah, well, Holiday has plenty of shots up his sleeve, and that includes the mid-range jumper. Here's Moran. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, that was clearly a foul. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They've been slippery getting into the lane all game long, putting that help defense to the test. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Jackson outside. Porzingis against Williams. That three's off the mark. The Celtics have gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Tatum from long range. And Tatum drills the three. And what an impact he's making from beyond the arc. A big three-pointer to narrow this lead. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from. And they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Such a wide-open look. He's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. There's Tatum with the three. And again, Boston with the triple. How about the answer from Jason Tatum? Say it with your chest, Jason. Here's Moran. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. For the Celtics, this one not looking good. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. Brown downhill. The three. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Desmond Bay. Boy, over the years, Tatum has really mastered the art of drawing fouls. The second one drops, and that brings him within single digits. And so he's good on all three free throws. And that brings him within eight. Memphis has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. 
Outside Morant. 51 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Outside Holiday on the wing, Tatum. Shoots over Jackson. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Jackson. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Drew the contact from long range, and he almost got the hoop to fall. Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. A physical guard who plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think. He makes the second free throw, and that brings him with an eight. And so he's good on all three free throws. And that narrows the gap to seven. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Moran against Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Now Moran. Got it off in time to beat the shot clock, but it's no good. And so the Grizzlies take the win. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great...
team for you. That's for sure. These teams are excellent at scoring in transition. After every turnover, even after every rebound, these teams are going to try to get out and run. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves down in the block. It's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward. Now here's Morant. Williams has a screen for Morant on the wing. Bain offline with his three. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Russell kicks to James. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. The power of LeBron, even if you tried to give the hard foul, he'll go right through you. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the contest. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. And Moran throws it down. And textbook. I mean, that move to the lane, you got to tip your hat on that. Well said, Greg. And, and Clark with some major elevation on the slam. Nice shot by James. Tough to be that consistent from range for that long. LeBron defying the odds. And talking about LeBron James, Steve, he still is on the hunt for more championships. Kevin, that hunger is still evident. He's all about finishing his career on a strong note, which includes winning as many titles as possible. Now, here is Russell. LeBron with a screen on Williams, and it's Davis finishing it off. I see the work that AD has put in using the handle, beating defenders to the spot, then the quality finish. Morant against Russell. And then Morant slams it in. Man, oh man, one of the more advanced ball handlers we've ever seen at his age. John ja Morant able to create scoring opportunities for himself. That's good from Morant. No question, the Grizzlies have put together Smitty, a team that can potentially go deep. Kevin, a serious postseason run is what this team was built for. They let their young talents develop, and they did a good job of putting strong pieces around them. Now, Morant, after D'Angelo Russell's three-pointer that didn't go. And Davis sends it back. The nasty streak is coming out for Anthony Davis, taking pride on the defensive end. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. James kicks to Hachimura. LeBron sets the screen for Hachimura. Outside for Davis. No good on the shot. Nice D from Williams. The Grizzlies trail by six. Here's Jackson. That one drops for him. For a big man to be that fluid and that coordinated as a runner, it's a huge advantage. Jaron Jackson getting it done in transition. James, no good. And so Moran will bring it up for the Grizzlies. To the middle. Here's Williams. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Look at the vision from John Morant there. Knew exactly where to deliver it for an easy look. Hachimura with a screen on Jackson. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. And they double up Morant. Williams passes to Morant. Oh, good on the triple. Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Hachimura. Nothing on the board. And Russell gets it to go. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Oh, oh did you see that? As creative as they come. John Morant has a style that's specifically his. Here's LeBron, and hammers that one down right in the face of Jaron Jackson. 
Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? The kick out to Williams. That three off the mark. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Davis with a screen on Jackson. Let's it go with a three. LeBron, no luck. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Here's Moran. Look oh, out! Here he comes! That was amazing! And look Woo. at the elevation! Okay, check out the handles of John Moran. Wow, what a crafty player. Here's LeBron. A steal. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We come back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. You also have to admire how they challenge the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. Santi Aldama is out there with Smart. Then it's Brandon Clark. Then there's Jared Rose, and it's Kennard in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Steve, wouldn't you agree the Los Angeles Lakers are one of, if not the most storied franchise in the NBA? Yes, Kevin, the facts prove it. The number one and number two all-time league scores both captured the record as Lakers. That's history right there. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Whoops, anticipated the pass, turnover. There's Rose with the three, and again it's Memphis with the three. That's why coaches tell you to keep those hands up. You never know when you're gonna poke one away like Kennard did. Kicks it out to Prince. For the three. That shot, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. It's stolen by Reddish. And here comes the break. The fadeaway. And that's Prince at time on the assist from Reddish. When Prince gets it clicking from the perimeter, gets his confidence going, the entire offense benefits. Here's Kennard. And it's Memphis with another. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. The Lakers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Vincent's shot is good. And the Lakers lead by four. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Now here's Rose. Defended by Vincent. Pass to Kennard. From downtown, it's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. Here's Vincent. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Grizzlers have gone a perfect four of four since the second quarter began. Perfect from the field. Smart kicks to Kennard. Fires from deep. Rebounded by the Lakers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Prince finds Vanderbilt. Prince against Smart. Back to Vanderbilt. Pass to Prince. Shot clock at five. Vanderbilt inside. Guarded by Smart. And he drops it in from the low post. You know, Smitty, one of the all-time great playoff series, those 2000 Western Conference Finals. Yeah, Kobe's Lakers against your Blazers. They were something. Kevin, thanks for reminding me. We lost in seven. Shaq and Kobe had never won a title, and I think if we'd have won that series, they might have broke them up. I actually, Kevin, shot 60% from three in that series. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, thank you, Kevin. Desmond Bain went to a small high school, 
He says, I was the biggest guy every game I played, so I was just getting to the rim. I didn't know how good of a shooter I was until I got to college. Now in the NBA, where does he rank himself? He says, other than Steph Curry, you're going to have to show me someone better. Kevin? Oh, David, I love the confidence. Thanks so much. Great court awareness by Derrick Rose, reading every inch of the floor so well. Vincent, the pass to Hayes. Here's Vanderbilt, defended by Eldama. And that's a foul called on Santi Eldama. That is his first foul of the game. Team. And that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. And we've got a lineup change for the Lakers. Here's Russell and the pass to Hachimura. Back to Russell. Pass to Hachimura. Four on the shot clock. Hit the putback. And it's Russell with that extra effort. Russell's got five. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Rose surveying the D. Pass to Aldama. The kick out to Rose. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Not lacking confidence. This is for sure. Rose enjoys catching and firing like this. Pass to Hachimura. Outside, James. James gets inside and finishes. LeBron is showing he can still dial it up whenever he wants. Put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Lakers lead. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Checking out the group now for Darvin Ham to start the second half. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the three. What we can't talk about enough with LeBron, the tremendous body control. You see it there on the pull-up. Third quarter here, and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They love to compete. A three-pointer is right on target. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Russell kicks to LeBron. There's the pass to Hachimura. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Hachimura's got his first three points of the game. Russell against Morant. And finished off by Morant. One of those guys that can take over a game. John Morant proving to be the difference. James against Jackson. Over Williams. Not as good in the Memphis leads. Cut down to one in the bucket from James. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. Morant drives in. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Morant's got eight points here in this quarter. What an athlete this guy is. John Morant is talented at staying in control. LeBron slashes inside. And the rejection by Jackson. And Morant throws it down. As soon as Ja lifts off, you know you're in for a treat. He can simply levitate in the air. James. A 
out to Russell. Passes to James. Back to Russell. He takes a three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got four rebounds in this game. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Uh, wish I could say why. That one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Here's Morant. And that one, good. And it's a seven-point Grizzly lead. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lane. Here's Morant to the paint. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter. Back to Jackson. Over Vincent. And there's Jackson on the assist by Morant. Jackson's got the lead up to seven now for the Grizzlies. Here's Vincent. Plays it up and banks it in. Vincent's got four points in the quarter. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. Memphis ends up going with the new group. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Dinwiddie is checked in for Vincent. Memphis leading by five. Here's Rose. Banked in off the glass. Rose has got ten points in the game. And how about the clever move by Rose? He somehow manages to get around the contact and finish. Here's Dinwiddie driving inside. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard with that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Dinwiddie with the steal. And they're running. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Now, here's Reddish. Kennard covering. Shot clock at six. And Reddish with the slam. Impressive play by Cam Reddish. Capable of throwing it down. Rose goes in. Basket good. Rose has got four this quarter. No, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Rose against Dinwiddie. Pass to Vanderbilt. Shoots the three. He can't get that one. Got it up. That one, no good. John ja Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for the Memphis Grizzlies. They've leaned on him for... And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game and definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard from the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. We've got Rose. Brandon Clark is out there with Santi Aldama. Then it's Marcus Smart, and it's Kennard in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Bam! When AD dunks it, look at the rim. It rocks. Morant against LeBron. And the rejection by James. Over LeBron. No, no, no. Going to have to try something different next time. LeBron Connects three. from three-point range. Three. And defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. And a wide open look for Payne. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. Payne's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. 
Davis with a screen on Jackson. James looking around. He kicks to Russell. Second chance shot. Not as good in the Memphis leads. Cut down to one on the bucket from James. We still see the fire of LeBron James after all these years. He's still fighting. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Russell passes to James. And he drives in. That gives them the lead. And they have scraped and clawed to get back into this thing. Just chipping away little by little and finally now taking the lead. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. I think the mid-range game has been a go-to option for them in this game. And when it's working like it is for them, I see no reason to make a change. And you also have to applaud how they've been able to create turnovers and then convert those on the offensive end. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. Russell with it. LeBron outside. Driving the lane. Out to the right wing. And a wide open look for Hachimura. Davis on the follow. And the Lakers lead by two. There are just few guys can own the glass like Anthony Davis. He makes the play before the defense can retreat. Pass to Bain. From outside the arc. And James pulls it down. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The drive by LeBron. Oh, epic move by LeBron. When you need a big score, you want LeBron to at least touch the ball. And this is why. He takes it in. A kick out to Bain. Here's the three. Good and a nice assist for Morant. He lives for moments like this because he wants to be the guy to hit the clutch shot. Here's Russell with the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Yeah, the leadership skills on display there. Getting it done when it matters most. D'Angelo Russell. Russell against Morant. Here's Jackson with the three. Good on the triple. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. The young fella, Jaron Jackson, has showed us the ability to step up and make big shots. LeBron with that triple. <laughs> Crushing blow to the host right there. I mean, they were in this game for what felt like only a second before instantly giving that three point. And the foul called on Austin Reeves. That is his first foul of the game. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Got that one up quick. Murray's got 26 points. Tremendous effort from John Morant, letting his team know they can rely on him. James against Jackson. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Now here's Morant. To take the lead. It counts. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. James with it. He's picked up by Morant. LeBron sets the screen for Russell. Tries again. Some scouts were surprised when Jackson's wingspan was measured over seven foot five. That's a huge number, especially when you talk about contesting shots. Now the pass to Reeves. Five on the clock. And he uses both hands to jam it in. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Morant surveying the D. Jackson, a screen on Russell. Outside Jackson, a three ball. Bullseye! Big moment, not too much for Jaron. What a play. 
and the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by two. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. I'm curious to see will they go for a two to tie or a three to win it all. Russell from long range misses the train. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by three. One second left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? They only one choice here. They need a three. I'm sure he's going to sub in all of his best shooters. Under two seconds remaining, it has to be a catch and shoot three if they hope to tie it. So a close game.
more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league, and right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Grayson Allen is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And that's why Booker is one of the best passers in our game. Here's James. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Allen, the pass to Durant. Goes up on the wing, and he gets it to go. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here is James. Pass to Reeves. Back to James. Just five to shoot. Not going to go that time. Nurkic with some nice D. Davis, the pass to James. And that one's good. James has got the second bucket. Working it to the open teammate that time. Excellent awareness from Davis. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice. Not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championships. You see the level of confidence Booker possesses. Outstanding off the catch. Now to Achimura. Pass to Russell. Here's the three. They grab their own miss. Davis, the pass to Jane. Driving inside. Russell with the ball. The three ball. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Outside Durant. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Durant's got six. This is where KD dips into his bag and comes out smelling good. The rebound by Allen. The Suns have gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. Durant finds Nurkic. Out to Beal. Oh, they pick off the pass. And they're on the break. The three from Russell. Here's Davis. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. It has got to be terribly frustrating to deal with Anthony Davis when you're guarding him. I mean, you try to get physical with him. You don't give him a clean look, and he still winds up with the bucket and the foul. And a valuable piece in the rotation, Clark. Grayson Allen can really shoot it. Love his accuracy from behind the arc. Very efficient in his offensive game. And when he keeps himself under control emotionally, which he's done much better and much more of as a pro, he's a really good player. Defense a little antsy there. And Beal takes advantage. Free throw drops for Beal. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The Lakers have gone three of eight so far. And that one is ever home. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Now here's Booker. A minute 37 left in the first quarter. Three-pointer. Beal keeps it alive. Great positioning on the putback. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Allen against Prince. The three-pointer off the mark. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Booker. And Booker with the jam. Having his way with the defense, Booker creates separation and nails the shot. Here's Vincent, Booker defending. Pass to Prince. Here he goes. Durant pulls it in. The Suns have gone six of seven and looking good. Outside Booker. Back to Durant. Over Vanderbilt. Nurkic. It's good on the putback. And on the glass, Nurkic makes it look easy. 
using his reach to snatch the ball and get a shot of his own. And that one drops for him. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter here. Booker goes in. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Vanderbilt. Great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Durant, the pass to Booker. Out to Beal. Back to Booker. Five on the clock. Outside Durant. Puts up a three. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. James passes to Reed. No good on the triple. And so it's the Phoenix Suns finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. They're just... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the small forward. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Out to James. Here's Reeves, defended by Gordon. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Durant, no good. The Lakers trail. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Here's James. And it's James with the jam. Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. Gordon on the wing. Up top, Durant. Here's Lee. And the three-pointer goes. Lee's got himself on the board with a three there. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. It's Achimura on the drive. There's Davis with the three. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. This is what the big-time players in the league do. Anthony Davis just had his team get hit for a three-pointer on defense. He comes right back at him with a three of his own. Bang! Outside Durant. Back to Lee. Gordon on the wing. Takes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance of both. And the shot's good. Nice handles, tight handles, fluid handles, right into a shooting motion. Durant able to do everything on the Out offensive end. Out of bounds. It'll be Suns ball. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success. Yeah? No doubt about that. And with Beal in the mix, they are all in. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. The Suns clear it. Well, the value of Jared Vanderbilt as a strong wing defender is pretty undeniable for him. You cannot win consistently without players like Jared Vanderbilt. I mean, you need a shutdown defender that has versatility. And it's a skill that he takes a lot of pride in. He's worked at. He brings a lot to the table at that end of the floor. Jared Count it. Vanderbilt. How about this? AD making the pass out of the pick and roll. That's a rare occasion because usually he's finishing. Two minutes remaining. Durant finds Gordon. The kick to Durant. Russell with the rebound. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Back to Vanderbilt. Davis with a screen on Gordon. Vanderbilt with it. Picked up by Allen. Davis. 
Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Now just a four-point Phoenix lead. This is why you integrate Davis into these sets, because he's terrific at finishing the moment. And now they decide to foul intentionally. I don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Hayes is checked in for Los Angeles. Then when he comes in for Russell, Prince is checked in for Achimura. And the Suns will go for a different look here. O'Neal, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. Roddy comes in for Allen. Bradley Beal, he's checked in for Lee. And it's Devin Booker in for Gordon. Outside Booker. On the take, Booker. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. Hayes and finished off by Hayes. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get old. Now the Lakers moving it up. Here's Reeves. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Reeves has got five points now this quarter. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few takeaways for them in the early going. Something else that stands out is how they've gotten out in transition. Their speed has kept the defense on their heels. Here's Reeves. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul. Suns trailing. Booker, the pass to bowl. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense given the situation. First one falls for him. When you've got an imposing force like Bobo, you expect to see him at the line a lot. Reddish is checked in for Los Angeles. 29 seconds left in the half. Here's Dinwiddie. And he buries his first look. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Here's Booker. And no good trying to use the glass. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Second. And he makes a first. At the line for the Lakers. Jared. And Vanderbilt drops them both. 15 seconds left in the second. Screen by O'Neal. Booker, the pass to O'Neal. Beal's got room. Releases from the wing and drills it. I didn't see that coming. He sinks a pretty dicey shot. The three, Dinwiddie. Oh, wow. Drew the... And they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. And even with the coach's challenge in place. The previous play is under review. Still disputed, even after the video review. There's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look. So the officials can be. The ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he still peed. That's so crazy. Put your hands together for the Lakers. Free throw good, Dinwiddie. And he sinks the second. And he nails the third. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Lakers on top. They lead by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit.
We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was... Whoa! Are you kidding me, LeBron? Well, he seems ages at times, guys. Somehow, some way, LeBron continues to rip off these insane sequences time and time again. Remarkable. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, through all the stress and the turmoil of recent years, Bradley Beal is one of those players who was willing to open up and acknowledge the strain. He said, quote, it's okay to feel down, to talk about it, to be a human. A lot of times I think I'm a superhero or I can kind of figure things out on my own, but it's all right to rely on people. Brian? It's all part of being a great teammate, no doubt. Thanks, Ali. Guys, that was really nice work mixing in this shot. When Russell is squared up and shooting with confidence, which is most of the time, he can bury it. Three-pointer, Beal, another three for Phoenix. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. The Lakers in the lead. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Exactly what you want from your point guard. Nice dime to the open teammate by Russell. Deal with it. Russell covering. Gordon, the pass to Beal. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Beal's got eight. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Suns. They trail by seven. The Lakers have gone four of four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Here's Davis. Out to James. Outside Russell. Back to James. LeBron gets the bucket inside. Making the right choice there. I mean, Russell, this is what scouts like about him. His feel, that intuitive feel for the game. Pass to O'Neal. Now here's Beal. He's guarded closely. Five to shoot. Here's O'Neal. Check by James. They get it back. Here's Nurkic. Paddles through traffic and lays it in. Six points for him. Yeah, in the paint, Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. Achimura outside. James passes to Achimura. James, a screen on Gordon. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And it's Achimura missing. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Back to Nurkic. And he makes it. Nurkic has got four points in the quarter. Uh, so capable of overwhelming you. Nurkic is terrific at maintaining his focus and balance on these tough finishes. Outside for Russell. The three is up. Connects from downtown. Russell's got nine. Oh, he could have taken himself, but he went from good, better, to best in getting the shot for his teammate. Out to Gordon. Beal, the pass to Robbie. Back to Beal. Pass to O'Neal. The Suns need to get off a shot. Here's Robbie. Watching the recovery. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. One oh five left in the third quarter. James inside. He's against O'Neal. Green by James. Hachimura from long range. And another three for the Lakers. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Roddy, the pass to Gordon. Stolen by Davis. In transition. Fires the three. Outside for Russell. 
Davis with room to shoot. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got four assists in the game. Love the readiness of AD. He's already preparing himself to shoot before receiving the ball. And the Suns call time here. for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for LeBron. Dinwiddie, he's checked in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Russell. For three, Booker. Ooh, Booker from range. Pure. Awfully tough play to defend. When you honor the roller, Booker just takes advantage. Here's Vincent. Still no points. Yes, it's good. And the Lakers lead by 12. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams score. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Jackson Hayes is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Rui Achimura. Then it's Gabe Benson. And it's Dinwiddie in a two-guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Vanderbilt finds Dinwiddie. And here's Hayes, full covering. Hachimura with room to shoot. And the Lakers tack on two more. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. And the defense has been disruptive, forcing turnovers, challenging shots. The turnovers they've been able to turn into points, too. First team. That free throw misses. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. LeBron comes in for Vanderbilt. Reeves is checked in for Dinwiddie. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Vincent. A good look from Allen. The Lakers with a rebound. Here's Reeves. Oh, a rim rattling two-handed jam. Knowing exactly where his guys are at all times. That's a nice dime from the king. Durant for three. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Plenty of bigs do now. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his third foul so far. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Russell against Booker. Pass to Reeves. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Hachimura. Again, the Lakers score. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Here's Lee. Down low. Here's Durant. The shot misses. Some solid defense from James. They've been undisciplined defensively, getting themselves into foul trouble far too early. And Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. B.A., there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible, his high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. A credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Pass to Booker. Oh, you can't let Booker get that close. The easy money there for Booker. You can't let him get this close with the ball. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. 11-point game. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Hachimura's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Phoenix has gone 6 of 9 from 3-point range. The kick to Durant. Oh, Durant playing big in the paint. A three-level score. Durant is a pick-your-poison matchup for defenders. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. He may give up 
up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. The kick to Durant. Launches it. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got five assists in the game. I mean, what a generational talent. KD, deadly from the corner. Out to Achimura. Screen by James. It's James on the wing. Fires for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds now. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just great positioning to get the rebound and get it back up. Durant against James. Wide open. Buries the jump shot. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Pass to Lee. Booker finds Durant, and it's slammed in by Durant. And Durant doesn't need to get up too high to throw it down. I think he could be dunking well into his 60s. Russell to pass to Davis. Pass to Reeves. Let's the three fly. And count it. Now five for seven. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Lakers. The coaching staff has to be happy with the way they've limited their turnovers here. Yeah, B.A., that's hashtag facts. Just tremendous patience and self-control. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Anthony Davis. It's hard to think of a part of the game where he didn't play a major role. Mentally, physically. I mean, he showed us what he's capable of when he's feeling his best. Durant, pass to Booker. Durant with a screen on Russell. Booker for three. Another three for Phoenix. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Out to Achimura. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Achimura with a screen on Durant. Shot clock at three. A three from Russell. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Jacks up a three. Misses. And...